items. Here we are. I think we are. Oh, that that's in the game. That line. I was just like, what the what the heck is that? But no, okay, I think we are all sorts of set up. Nope. We are all sorts of set up and ready to go. Let me just boot up Twitch on my phone. Hey Silence Crab, it's good to see you. Really appreciate you coming by. Alright. And hey, Jesse Cox. He's streaming. That's good. Good for him. Alright, so. Uh, right, right, left, left, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, down. That was a little leggy. Hold on. Hmm. That might just be my phone, though. Hang on. Yeah, it's up on my phone. Come on. Left, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, down. Right, I'm going to close this and just try real quick, just one more time, just to make sure that we're all good. Left, left, up, down, right, right. Real quick, just for me. Don't think we disconnected it all yet. Yeah. I'm gonna close this and just try real quick, just one more time, just to make sure that we're all good. Left, left, up, down, right, right. All right, cool. I think we are all sorts of good. Sounds crab. Tell me if like um. If it doesn't seem like we're in sync, or if you think we just need to raise the volume on myself for the game, or lower it, or anything like that. But I think, I think we're all sorts of good to go. So, what weapon do I have equipped? I'm trying to remember how this game works. That's right, we have a katana. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember now. We're good to go. So, yeah, we're good to go. Let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name is Max Also, Zach Cho. Molly wants to leave the office. Okay. Hi, hey, Molly. You be good. Oh. Try number three. Hello, everyone. My name is Max Also, Zach Cho. Welcome back to Silent Hill. How are you enjoying Skyrim? Uh, last episode, we finished Skyrim. And I kind of got hit with everything that I didn't like with that game at, at like, you know, what you want to call it? I got hit with everything that I don't like that in that game, like a brick wall. Just like we, we banged out the final quests for like, you know, the, the main storyline. And it was just this, it was this, I want to use the word cavalcade of like, you did it because you're the best and you're the dragonborn and for no other reason. And like... Remember in Sovngarde where they're like, oh, they're like, oh, go, like, you, the fog is super dangerous, freaking Alduin will eat you. You could literally just walk through it and nothing happens. Just straight up. You could just walk through it. I did that. Just for giggles. I, like, ran around the fog trying, hoping Alduin would come and eat me, and it didn't happen. Um, it, it, was, it was just... I like Skyrim in concept. I think Skyrim, for what it is, is a great game, but it is overhyped to oblivion, and there's so much wrong with it. <laughs> and, yeah, it, it was just, I just hate that when games are like, you're the best because you're the chosen one and no other reason. Didn't realize there's a beef truck here. Literally, literally, I got into Savangard, which is heaven. I got in Valhalla. It is Valhalla. I got into Valhalla because I was Dragonborn and no other reason. I like. I think they had like a moment to be like, "Oh, I'm in here because the Nightingales say that I'm totes chill," but like otherwise, it, it was it was just dumb. I got into heaven just because of my birthright, and I was like, "That's stupid." And then Alduin was a bitch. Just in general. And then I got the Elder Scroll. 
just because and a whole lot happened just because and it drove me nuts aren't there two enemies out here back back hold on shit uh i thought i was gonna dodge that up 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 please please up girly oh no here we go I don't know. Don't even know if that hurt it. Is that how we got through last time? Hang on, hang on. Door. There we go. That was a little weird. That was a little. That was a little weird. But yeah, I just. I just got hit with a bunch of that at the end. I just wasn't happy. You know. We should focus on what happened Silent Hill. We're back at the amusement park, and holy shit, I forgot how loud it was! I don't even remember what I'm doing! Well, I remember the nightmare here was that we made it to the... We made it to the... Fuck those things. Okay. Is it too loud for you, by the way? It's loud for me, but I think that's on purpose. Like, I think it's supposed to be this loud. Sounds good on my end. Okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it down for me a little bit then, because... Y'all, it's loud! But, um... That's right. Yeah, we went up here. At the very beginning of the game. And then we went on the track, and there was a roller coaster that ran us over or something. Then we woke up from our nightmare. But this is real now, so... It's locked. Mm. Well, I don't want to just follow the same... It's the only path. It's the only path. It's the only path. It's the only path. The only path. Fuck my life. If it's the only oh shit. If it's the only path, Let's see. Why oh, I did? I thought they would... Okay, fine. Ow! Okay. I like that they let you die the exact same way. I think that's fun. But I, I kind of thought that it, she would have a moment of like... Oops. Uh, Discord's yelling at me. Why is this? Oh, okay, because it's touch room. I thought there would be a moment of like, I know what's going to happen, and I would like climb up in time. They forgot something, huh? Yeah, I, 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 thought, I thought they'd be like, oh... Because she knows what to do. I knew it was coming, so that's why I was like, okay, we can dodge it, right? But apparently not. Hold on. This wasn't part of my dream. Yeah, exactly. You know. You know something's up. Alright, so... I'm guessing it's like a key... But my little head radar, my little head radar ain't, um, picking anything up. Heather's looking at something near the save point. Oh, really? I thought she was looking at the save point. Ah. Ah. That's why, okay, I thought she was looking at the save point. There's the difference I was looking for. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me through, let me through. All right, cool. Good, let's keep going. Yeah, so I thought I was looking at the save point. That's why I was like, oh, whatever, nothing's there. It's like, oh, shit. Up, 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 please, up, please. Okay, we gotta go towards this way. Fuck that thing. 
going to be a ride from now on. Well, I did name the episode, you know, Nightmarishly Good Joyride, so... Here we go. Alright, now we can do this. Now we're diverging. Okay. Hmm, it's a body. I don't like it. I guess it could be someone's leg. Nope. Oh. Um... Make it work those, uh, just, um... Just gonna... Do it turn off? Uh, yeah. I hate that noise. Why is that noise still here? It's awful. It sucks. Furthermore, how could the roller coaster be running endlessly if the track is broken? It should have. Oh, damn it! It should have. It should have fallen off once, and that would have been the end of it. God damn it! I'm trying to. Oh my goodness! There. Yeah, like look at this place. It's blown to shit. Like, how can there be a roller coaster going like looping on it? Jump to the side! Jump to the side! Dead. Dead. I hired you to what? find the girl, and you performed uh. serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. Mm, fuck you. Mm. I don't like being used. Alright, I gotta get my cigar. Lie. <sighs> what lie? Hey, fuck you, bud. That Heather was kidnapped from you. Yeah. But it's true. Yeah. She was originally one of us. That man, mm. Harry Mason, stole mm. her away and kept her hidden from us. You deserved yeah. it. Yeah. Well, she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him, mm. deceived, mm. because her true self had not yet awoken. Mm, your cult self. Mm. She carries God within her. Normal people don't say shit like that. Mm. But when Alessa, mother of God, truly awakens... I'm a Catholic, I don't believe in Virgin Mary. She will usher in the gun. eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain. No hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no mm. greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. Right, because it's no full of... No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise. A castrated sheep, maybe. Yeah, all the rust monsters and the bodies and the, the, the flesh. That's, that's part of heaven. You still don't understand. I understand well enough, bitch. You're going to kill me? Yeah, kill her. Is it really so easy for you? Yeah, do it. Yeah. I've done it before. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Then I truly do pity you. Do it. Yeah. Kill her. Fuck her. He's going to get eaten by something from behind. It's BDSM heaven. Ugh. Ugh. That sounds like a horrible heaven. Oh, hey, I lived. And I've accomplished nothing. All right, now I'm going to ask the dumb question. Please don't cut yourself on that edge. Please don't cut yourself on that edge. Uh. Alright, so here's the dumb question. Wait, oh, I'm in a different area, okay. I was gonna say, like, can I can I just go on the track again and like see what happens? Cause now that the now that the one car is gone, I should be good, right? But no, this is a different area entirely. So, 
I've mentioned this before, but I am a Christian. And that is something that's always kind of... I don't want to say... Oh, you... You jack I have to go through a haunted house. Are you like... A falling on top roof, no scratches, cool head. I was it a few dozen feet, I don't know. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. This is good. This is good. I small small side like small um side thought. I fucking love the haunted house at Disney World. I don't know if you've ever been on Science Crab or just anyone in general because I like speaking to the void. I fucking love that ride. I think it's so cute. Wait, what? Come, but I don't. I can't open the door. I I I love the aesthetic. I love the song. I I think it's great. But um, to finish my one thought, so I I am a Christian. You know, I I am saved because I believe on Jesus Christ. He died for our sins. That you know, all that good stuff. But um, that's something that always kind of got me about heaven, the way it's described. That like. You know, there's a lot of, like, what do you do there? What is the purpose of it? Like, what... What's gonna happen? And... Welcome to the Borland... I'll pause for a second. I've been to the Disneyland version back in 2005. That's the same one, right? Like, that's the same thing where they take you around. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize, right? Like, like that version? Totally fun. Yeah, like, it, it's just great. And I love the detail. Like, there's... There are... I, what was it? Okay, so small small story time before we go into the small story time. Um, sorry, hold on. Two story times. Okay, to finish my thought, yeah, the Bible doesn't always really describe much about heaven, and that's been something that always kind of gets me. And now, granted, I'm not going to pretend I'm the best Christian ever. I'm the most knowledgeable. But um, it, it was always something that was a little weird. And I, I know people can explain it by saying, like, well, as humans, we don't understand it. And it's like, okay, I guess, but also... You know, I, I, I don't know. I truly don't know. And I always find that kind of interesting. But, um, move away from that topic because that is existential horror. To this topic, I, I fucking love the Haunted Mansion ride. Um, so when I was in Japan, I, when I was in Japan with part of the military, I was able to go to Tokyo Disney World, which is, or Tokyo, Tokyo Disneyland, which is fantastic. And, um, I was there with some of my, some of my military friends and it was me and I'm going to call his name out. I hope he doesn't mind. His name is Vought. Or that that's his last name. We called him Bot. Um, me and him were like sitting together, and we both were. We both kind of joked to each other. It's like, okay, I don't fully remember this ride. I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat. He's like, yeah, I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat too. But it'll be fun. It's like, yeah, it'll be a great time. So we got there, and for whatever reason, the ride had to stop. So like, so, you know, so it's like going on the tracks, and it's like spinning that little bit to show you the things, and it's like, oh look at that, oh look at that, you know, like all that good stuff. You hear the song. But the ride broke down. Now, we weren't in danger or anything. It was just a matter of it stopped for whatever reason. And we got to... You know, and the first thing is to be like, oh, man, this sucks. But both of us were really excited that we stopped. Because the, I forget what parts we stopped on. But, like, I think we stopped on the part where you, like, look into, like, a ballroom. And you see all the people, like, dancing and spinning and stuff. And we got to just sit there and watch it because the sound didn't stop. The animatronics didn't stop. The lights were still off. It was just the line track itself stopped. So we got to sit there and just look at it. And, you know, when you're moving, you only have, like, 20 seconds to really appreciate a scene. It's still really cool. But when you have, like, a good few minutes to sit there and just be like, oh, look at that detail. Oh, you can see the one swinging. It's like, oh, you can see the candle lights flicker. And you can see, like, it does this every now and then. And, oh, the paintings are moving. And they're, like, moving through each other. And that happened multiple times. So we got to watch, like these paintings like shift into different paintings and then shift into a different painting just kind of like on repeat and like all the like the animatronics that would like go up and then go down we were like trying to figure out how they were and it's like oh there's a projector on the face of that one and oh you know it's a reflection of the glass and it was just really cool it was really fascinating including the um i watched a video yeah it's super good like they just look fantastic and the um this is separate from the story, but um, just to kind of go into how cool I think this place is, the how they do the um, how they do the the stretching room 
the stretching room where it's like, is the floor, re like, is the ceiling really rising? And, you know, there's, like, the four paintings and each one, like, looks normal. But as it's, like, stretched more and more and more, it's, like, really hard to tell. And how that works. And if I recall correctly, it's effectively there's two elevators, like, built into each other. It's, it's fascinating. I, I would highly recommend looking up those videos. It's super cool. And we're on Silent Hill, so it's going to be the worst possible version of this imaginable. Let's go! Haunted Mansion. Yay! We're so glad you came. I'm so glad I came. Please come inside and look around. Don't dive curiosity. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. There's not gonna be someone being like, please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle, don't touch the walls, all that good stuff. You fucked up, you should have waited. Help! Help! What? Do you hear those voices? Okay, that was really cute. A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Ooh. Oh, the cries of the children. Ooh. The murderer was caught. Da -na 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 -na. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Ooh, I would, why tell me? Because I felt I had to. That makes no sense. Anyway, I'm lying. What? It's all just a joke. An elaborate ruse. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. Oh, the hanging. So the whole family murder thing was just made up. But if that's true, how do you explain all the blood in this room? Could it be that the guy who committed suicide really did kill a bunch of people? Or how? No, of course it's all made up. What was I thinking anyway? Uh, knowing Silent Hill, I just spit a little bit. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought it was <laughs> the voice starts going up. Like, the voice starts going off. I, I I thought this was the bathroom. Look, I really gotta pee. I just, oh, God, like, where's the... It pl please don't tell me the toilet is haunted. Oh, my, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just, like, run through. Okay, let's, let's, let's look at this. Let's see if we can investigate this. But, okay, so knowing Silent Hill and knowing that all these games are psychological horrors and they all have to do with aspects of your own insanity and stuff like that, right? I don't think this was a lie. I think there's some truth to this. But it's fake. Why does it smell like real blood? Because it's fucking Silent Hill. Everything here smells like blood and rust. It's fucking Silent Hill. Okay, um... I've not really seen any particular clues. So I don't know if they're gonna be like, Who did it? So... So I'm just kinda... Trying to get my... Shit. I mean, it looks like a mannequin, but mannequins have tried to kill me before, so really... They're really controlling the camera angles, too, so they're trying to spook me good. <gasps> That's Danny. A quiet young man. But quite friendly, as you can see. Okay, you got me. He was so eager to meet you. You got me there. He That's... grew up in New Orleans, but came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? So first off, that's a safety hazard, because Sutton's little kid may have ran forward and got slammed by that thing. So first and foremost, I'm putting a mark down. Secondly, geez, it's real. This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Who could have done this? Yeah, can I look at that body too? That's just a doll sitting in a chair. Is Danny the doll? Is Danny that hanging thing? Oh, well, whatever. No biggie. Man, I think it's moving a lot too. Is it? Uh. See, a cheap jump scare in my Silent Hill. I mean, come on! In this context, it's fun, you know? But yes, it's true to quote Yahtzee. Quote, is quite old. It's full of rust now. But um, to quote 
Who's the Yahtzee Croshaw, the guy who does zero punctuation? A cat in a bin can do a jump scare. It's all about that existential horror. So please, watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. Alright, so this uh, this is timed accurately to me, and um, I'm beginning to think this is the original ride. Also, are those spikes? Those are spikes, I think. I can't quite tell. Uh, are they? I suddenly don't feel comfortable being here. Just figure I'd check. Yeah, I suddenly really don't feel comfortable being here. Kind of walked into the belly of the beast a little bit. I am so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Once again, that is a fucking safe. The spikes actually kill you. You have to crouch to get past. You can crouch? You can crouch? How, how, how do you. How do you. You can crouch? How, you can crouch. How, how, how do you crouch? Do I need to know how to crouch? I feel like that's an important detail. How do you, how do you how do you how do you crouch? How, how do you how how do how do that? It's just oh, hey, red rest is good to see you. It's just weapon ready stance. I'm not crouching in re weapon ready. This place makes me uncomfortable. There's the exit. Oh no. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Mm. Please come back anytime. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. <sighs> that was supposed to be the exit. Here we go. And it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I, I have to agree with them. Don't be afraid. Dying is much easier <laughs> than living. Okay, fuck. See, playing this game on, on hard is pretty bullcrap, to be honest. So I'm gonna move my thing side. Okay, I didn't realize whatever that is is hurting me. Jeez, that thing is fast. Son of a bitch. It's the same path again. Wait. Ah, how comforting. That was a very good way to end a ride. Bad marks. That boo, boo. That could have, that could, that could have been better. That mm, eh, boo, 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 boo. Down vote. Uh, Disneyland did it better. Support the corporate mouse. Well, I, I wasn't expecting that to hurt me. I was more just like, what is that? All of a sudden I started screaming in pain. So I was just like, oh, fuck, wait. I don't know what this path is. I'm just investigating it. I have no idea what I'm doing, to be completely honest. I suddenly don't want to be here. Oh, no. Right, let's go back. You can eat. Yeah, especially with the camera. With the camera constantly changing, I would totally get you dying from that. Oh shit. <laughs> Bitch. Ow. Okay, I kind of deserve that. <laughs> Not to part of Disneyland. Mm -mm. Like, I get it. Disneyland has been around for who knows how long and 
fucking it's like a techno it's a technological and marvel of sights and sounds and glory but really i'm not quite no i mean like geez you gotta at least put forth some kind of effort you know you can't just you can't just do this kind of shit i have no idea where i'm going or what i'm doing i have absolutely no clue fuck you fuck you Yeah, where the fuck am I? Wish I had a, is it, please tell me it's a map. This place in the bottle, I bet it was packed that day. Packed. With blood. Alright, um. Oh, hey. Nope. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend I have the highest of standards, but also, you know, they gotta. Oh, it's a horse. It's a horse. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that was some weird disjointed body. I got really confused. What's this? Uh, am I gonna get attacked by a horse? I'm gonna get attacked by a horse, aren't I? That's bait. That is bait. That right there. It's fucking dark. That is bait. That's bait. That's bait. Okay. That's bait. That's bait. That's bait. That is bait. That's bait. I was half expecting there to be one person in the crowd who's like missing a shoe. That would have been so creepy just to see that for a second. Well, I have a shoe now. Is it a weapon? No? Okay. Uh, blood red. Real quick. I'm sorry. My dog is barking. Just real quick. I want to make sure it's not anyone breaking into the house. Molly's okay. She's just little. It's okay, baby. She's must have saw someone outside. It's okay. You can you can be in here while we go to spooky, scary as shit Disneyland. Maybe the horse is gonna come for my ass. You can feel it in my bones. Oh shit! That's right. Or whatever. I, I couldn't even read that. It is so freaking dark in here, and I don't. I don't know what I'm after. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, I win a loop. But I have a shoe. What do I even need this shoe? What do I even need the shoe for? It's Todd Howard breaking your house. Damn it, Todd! Fucking, look, I'm sorry that I didn't like Sky. I'm sorry that I had an issue with Skyrim, Todd. Okay, don't gotta yell at me. Just because I got mad at it, because they said, you're the best just because. Now, I'm not, I ain't apologizing for shit. Todd can, Todd can fucking fight me. I, I will go fist the cuffs with Todd, and he will glitch through the wall and probably kick me in the head somehow. But I'll do- OW! Fuck you. Fuck you. I'll fight Todd. I don't give a shit. <laughs> He'll probably win, but 
I'll, I'll fight for my honor, damn it. Even if I lose, I'll go down honorably. Oh no. Oh, ow. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This doesn't. Shit's gonna turn on and kill me. Yeah, there's something here. There's gotta be something here. Um, was that dog's eyes glowing? Uh. Oh no, it's just flesh. Okay, Molly, I'll let you back out. You go play with Todd Howard. I'm not quite getting a reading on what is meant to be done here. Unless I just looped without realizing it. Hold on, how, hold on, how hurt? Yeah, how hurt am I? How, okay, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Gotta wait a second. Are we good? Alright. Yeah, some, there's something, there's something up with this thing. Uh, no, can't jump over that, can't jump over that. Even though I'm really sure I could. Mm, it is pretty rusty though. Can I turn it on? <gasps> That's gotta be it, right? Hold on, hold on, come on. Can I not? Can I not reach it? Um. Um. Right? I'm not. I'm not. There's stuff in there, but there's no door. Yeah, I can see there's a thing of shotguns in there, but how? How am I? How am I supposed to... It's not letting me... Yeah, I'm even looking at it. I'm having a moment! Damn it! Like, the switch is right there. I can see it. I My head is turning towards it. How am I supposed to get in? How... Um... Can I do it from here? Oh, oh shoot. Hang on. Okay, can I not use the katana on you? Okay, sorry. Hey, get over here, doggy. Okay, maybe I need to remember how combat works in this game. I tried to block in time. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're gonna beat the shit, we're gonna beat the shit out of the dog. I'm gonna run. And eat the shit out of the dog some more. Gonna, oh! Oh! You like. You like fake me out. Yeah, suck it. Get fucking wrecked. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, oh, it's grabbing me! I was gonna say, like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to hit you! Look, I'm about to use a gun like a boring person, okay? Like, fucking, that's it. That's it. Oh, wow, I'm almost dead. Huh, son of a gun. All better. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna use a gun like a boring person, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, that, that's a cool. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna keep kicking it until I can't kick it. Okay, cool. All right, now that we're here, we can try to figure out what's going on. Do I need to? Hey, you. you just bugger off, frankly. Is this lever? Wait, what did it say? This column here, won't that work? For what? Did a spike just come out of it? Holy shit! Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, good. So that problem's solved. Okay. 
There's no time to start playing around with stuff like this. Well, now there is because I removed the problems. Wouldn't that work? I, I don't understand. Wouldn't that work for what? Like... I'm, I'm, uh... I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what the goal is here. Like, I feel like what I'm supposed to do is turn it on and then something happens, but... I... Alright, is, is there something obvious that I'm missing? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll cave it and ask a little bit. Is there, is there something here that I'm missing? That I can do? Because it really doesn't look like it. And here's the freaking... Uh... It has ammo and stuff. Let's see where you had already. Uh, the room. Do you, the room. Check the door near the carousel. Okay. You, you don't mean you don't mean on the stage, right? You mean like. But you haven't already. Oh, I thought I have. Which I, I, I thought I did. Hmm. Hang on. Hang on. Ow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. So. So I go over here. Okay, here we are at the carousel, right? Carousel of progress. Okay, check the door near the carousel. Oh, this door? Could it be rusted? <gasps> oh! 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 Wait, I thought I had rope. Didn't I have rope? No. Wait, ah. Mm, I need rope. I need. I need rope. I need a rope of some kind. That's what I need. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have rope. I don't have. Hmm. Hmm. Still can't get in there. So I need I need a rope. <sighs> oh, we're jelly. I'm fine. Okay, so now check everything again. Right, well we need rope, so Hmm. And then we gotta figure out a way how to do that, but I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna grab my soda. Just that chew, huh? Just that chew. <laughs> See, um... Uh, okay. Yeah, where am I gonna... F yeah, I gotta... Okay, well, this is the haunted mansion. I think. I don't know what this is. Yeah, that's how we got into the haunt. That's how we got out of the haunted mansion. I mean. Okay, so I don't think anything's in here. No. Watch, I just like walked right by it. Go back to the stage. But how do I get to the stage again? Not this way. Is it? Nope, not that way. 
Um... Nope. How did I get to this, get to this stage? Fuck you! I um not seeing anything. Not seeing anything. Hmm. Can I go back into the mansion? Can Can I go back into the mansion? Danny hung himself with rope. Can I do that? Cause I'm not gonna lie, that um, that that, that red light kind of made me think that you know going back to the mansion was a no no. I don't even know the red light was. Say <laughs> uh. I feel pretty clever with that rope idea, though. But why fall off of that? Yep, okay, cool. Well, the trip is a path there that I was gonna see. Ow, oh, shit! Yeah, you've run past it multiple times. Alright, hold on. Pipe? What kind of environment I'm in? Environment. Environment. Fuck that thing. It's something to do with do with you, doesn't you bastard? Alright, um okay, let's go back. The place sucks. Um Thought I had starting to move. Can I use my shoe to can I use my shoe to reach? Nope, okay, that's fine. past Specific item you need to pick up. Okay. My head is not moving towards anything. Can I use this? No. Well, I doubt it's intestines for my slain enemies, so, you know, that's not it. Can't get anything off there. Nope, that's not it. Wait! Oh, no, I'm looking at them. Alright, excuse me. Alright, um... God, it's nice. Let me see it. Nope, thank you. Good stuff. Uh... Well, I'm inclined to think it's not in here. I'm getting pretty tired, though. Yeah, let's move to safety before I collapse. Not rope. Me. <gasps> 
Head's not moving towards anything, so I think it's... I mean, I'm feeling kind of lost, um, cause like, <sighs> it's dangerous. Nothing but the shoe. Sat glitch for a second. Just hoping it gets better. Ah, shit! I'm sorry to hear that. It sucks. If if the delay is getting worse, do you think? Oh shit! Like, I wonder if there's anything I can do to help with that. Think about the environment the environment I'm in. Different items. Different item. <gasps> yeah. In my defense, man that shit blended in. Man that shit absolutely blended in. But I had the right idea. That's the important thing. Alright, um. So, I ho hope I don't run past this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, uh. See, I, I can't load the quality of mine, or otherwise. Or otherwise, unless you have. Let's see, or otherwise, unless you have more viewership, which is a little silly since alien your chance. Are you saying there's like. So many people watching that's affecting your. I'm I'm sorry I don't I don't quite understand. All right. Um. Yes. 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 This is better do something with the other half though. Yeah. Please be long enough. Yes. Why wasn't this open before? That's frustrating. I had the right idea. I just can't understand that the source since you are more popular than the future song. That is bullshit. I feel like you should be able to do that with any of them. Right, and I'm responsible. Damn, must be broken. Oh. I was gonna turn it off. Also, what the fuck is. Oh, it's a microphone. I would like the chain back. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. The chain's broken. Who cares? I don't need it anymore. Chains are fucking useful! D and D tells you so you aren't worth the extra few buttons yet. Douglas, oh, oh. you're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. I think it's broken. Hmm. I'll call an ambulance. Wait. Uh. I don't think one will come. Don't worry. I'm used to it. Jamming music. You. Someday though. Yeah, someday. Until then, you I, I, fool. Until then, I, I hope it gets like better. I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? Well, you didn't do uh, anyway. What'll I do if you die? I give a shit now. What will we do if this god thing gets born? It's gonna be born on me. <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I don't know, it's God. A being beyond our comprehension. I'm sure it'll be no big deal. It's this Satan, what the fuck? What the fuck's Satan gonna do anyway? He's gonna fall out of heaven again? What? <laughs> it's gonna happen. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. Uh, how'd your conversation with Who's Knows go? This is how a god of mercy acts. I'll grim bear, but it's okay. If it gets on, I'll just watch VOD later, like it did the hospital section. That's a pretty good reason to risk my I hope life. that's entertaining. Don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? 
No, come on. Let me help you. What? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. But that's copyright, so we can't say yeah. Superman. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. Mm -hmm. I know it's not your fault. Also, what hurt your leg? What broke your leg? Tell me. You... You remind me of my son. Ah, oh, fuck you! You said nobody was going to cry for you. Also, what broke your leg? Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid. Got himself shot robbing a bank. Ah, lovely. But why? Because drugs. It's drugs, isn't it? Maybe because his pop was a penny that's good for nothing. My name is Jono Giovanna. Anyway, I guess now I'll never find out. And I have a dream. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like him. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. I don't have a daughter. No, seriously, what broke your leg, man? Listen, I'll take care of What the broke rest. your leg? You stay here, and I'll be back when it's over. Tell me the details. You'll be okay by yourself. Claudia just snapped hey, those leg in it. How did she do that? Tell me about his stand. Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. Sorry, does it does it do people know what I'm referencing when I say stand and Giorno Giovanna and stuff like that? What? What are you doing? What? That was weird. Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Douglas, no, Douglas, Douglas. Yeah. Douglas. Right. I don't want to die, Douglas. Douglas, the video quality is going weird, Douglas. They're trying to do a camera focus and it's not working, Douglas. Douglas. Douglas, I'll kill you, son of a bitch. What is it? Maybe don't shoot me, big guy. I just came by to make sure you're still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Maybe don't. Yeah. Maybe don't shoot me. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? That the subtitles are wrong. Don't shoot me, please. I'll handle things. You just rest. Yeah, probably. Man, did it take me out of the moment. I still might shoot you. Maybe. Don't die on me, okay? Maybe I'll shoot myself to stop myself from from joining the. Oh, great, good. Uh, I think those dead bodies are interesting. Maybe, it, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a little, little shooting, a little rootin' tootin', a little shoot, shooting. What am I gonna shoot those bunnies? That's the question I have. But no, seriously, what broke? Okay. Okay. That's option one and two. D12. The factor is my D20. There you go. There's D20. I'm going to cheap a lot of one I got. Man. I got seven. All right, we're going to the left. I already hate it. But no, okay, when I say Jono Giovanna, that is referencing the anime JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which is one of my favorite anime, without a doubt. Like, if I if I had a, if I had a list anime of favorites, I think I would tie Jono... Oh, God! 
I think I would tie JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood for like all time favorites. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. It's a Snow White doll. It's a Cinderella doll. <gasps> I'm waiting for them to like turn their heads towards me. There's photos on the ground. What's this? I have a shoe. I have a shoe. Um, I, I don't understand. Well, I see something that kind of looks like a shoe with the one that doesn't have his hands up, which is this one. So, I mean... When you said that was a JoJo reference? Yes. Yes, it was. But I like, okay, I, I feel bad that sometimes I'll make like a reference like that, and then it's just kind of like taking a step back and realizing, hey, you know, other people may not know that anime, so I, I shouldn't just automatically assume people do. You know, you know what I mean? All right, so if that's a shoe, that's a, uh, uh, I'm not, uh, well, it's Snow White, I'm guessing an apple, right? I'm guessing an apple. Here, you can have this. Okay. Here, you can have this mall. No, no, no. It's another princess puzzle, just like, yep, I was getting that feeling. I need an apple out of this bitch. Thanks, I hate it. Right, let's see what we got. Let's see, Claudia Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Got Douglas's notebook. Why the fuck was Douglas's notebook here? Is that skull or an apple? I would just like to. Wait, what? I. I, 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 I Uh, there you go. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just grab this. Yeah, I did think it looked like a skull. I okay. Come on, everyone, do it with me. Here you go. Uh, downright creepy. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I could see she's holding something, but I thought it'd be... Oh. Well, that's horrifying. That looks like an apple. Cool. It's like, yeah, yeah, neat. All right, cool. It's probably not scary. Not scary at all. More story time. More story time. Does anyone ever get that, like, feeling in their gut when they, like, see an animatronic that's, like, a big monster that, like, you know it's an animatronic, you know it's fake, you know you're safe, you know everything's good, but there's something about it that, like, freaks you out that little bit? Like, that primal instinct in the back... I just realized... I can, I can lower the camera a little bit. But, like, that primal instinct that's, like, in the back of your head. That it's, like, a predator. 
the okay so the example the example i want to give is that um there uh, that nearby to where i live there's a there's a children's museum there's a children's museum and this children's museum has a t-rex and i don't know if it's life size but it's pretty damn big and like every now and then it's like head will move a little bit and its mouth will open and close and it's like eyes will blink and like look around a little bit and every now and then it'll roar and stuff like that it's really cute like okay hold on let me let me see if i can let me, let me see if i can just find a picture real quick um children's museum dinosaur i realize i probably shouldn't say anything i i wait what Huh? Uh, hang, on, hang on. Brookings Children's Museum. That's uh, all that. Is that it? Is, that might be it. That's a better picture, though. I want to show everyone this picture just because it freaks me out. Depends on how good the animatronic is, but yeah, I get it. Like, even the one... Okay, hold on. Let me look up another one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up two pictures. I want to pull up two pictures just to kind of like prove, just to kind of like explain this. Um, there we go. Okay, let's put these both in. I would like to import multiple files. Okay, cool. Here we are. So, oops, I just grabbed the. Oops. There we go. Grab that little guy. Move him over here. Make him bigger. There you go. So, so the one above me, that is at Wall Drug. This Wall Drug, South Dakota. And I've been there, I think, two or three times. And all it is is this dinosaur that's there, and it goes like, Meh! and it like makes little roaring sounds, like little lights will go, and there will be like little puffs of air, and it's like, oh, it it turns on every twelve minutes, but because of the fucking plague, they decide not to turn on, which makes no fucking sense. But um, yeah, that's all it is. It's cartoonish. It's obviously silly and cartoonish. And then you have the other one, which is at the children's museum that I live nearby, and that thing's pretty damn big. And I'm not going to say it does, like, the full swinging, you know, like, that kind of a thing. But, like, its head moves a little bit. And there's something about both those that just scare the shit out of me. <laughs> that, like, I just walk towards it. And even though I know it's fake, I know it's not real. I know it's an animatronic. You know, every little bit of me is like, this is not real. It just freaks me out. And I'm not going to deny that for a second. Like... Yo, maybe this is maybe this is proof that I'm like paranoid and scared of everything, but I'd like to think I'm not. And so seeing that, seeing that, right? And especially when I went to like Disney World and stuff like that. And I absolutely love Disney World. Like the one in Florida, the one in um the one in Tokyo, University. I have an absolute blast all the time. But there's always something about those animatronics that like freak me out a little bit. You know, I think it's why I think it's why I have like a love hate relationship with the Five Nights at Freddy's games, because I think in concept, they're very intriguing because I totally get the feeling like Freddy's going to fucking kill you. Like, I, I get that. Oh, sweet. Yeah, perfect. Service door. But, um... Oh, wait, hold on. I want to go back in. Hang on. Oh, well. That's not fun. But um, I think that's why I think Five Nights at Freddy's is so intriguing. Because I go to... If I go to a Chuck E. Cheese or whatever that has an animatronic like that, there is that part of me that's, like, waiting for it to start moving. Ow, shit. You know, and just waiting for it to go... Blah, 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 and be evil and shit. I'm gonna dodge this way. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, Silent Hill 1. Dally is the one who said it, said the girl was a demon. Uh, that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believe. I mean, appearance can be seen when I saw that photo in the hospital base. I thought that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal. I mean, nothing good will come in this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. It's my imagination. Do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl's what's supporting me. Everything else can't wait until I've got her back. Yep. It's from my day. It's from my... Oh, I, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. Ow. I don't even know what I grabbed. Just 
trying to get some kind of... I really hope there isn't a map that I miss. Because, man, I, I would love them. I'm hearing a loud, scary noise. And I don't like it. It's because I'm hurt. I'm not like I'm not super hurt, but I'm hurt. I'm hearing a loud, scary noise, and I don't like it. Anyway, sorry for long story time and me basically saying that Five Nights at Freddy's and other such things freak me out, but they do. So seeing this kind of compounds. It's the carousel, holy shit. Not just, it's, it's, it's the, it's the carousel. It's the carousel that I killed whatever, what, so, uh, was her name Sophie? I don't remember her name, but I killed her. Oh good. Mm, I wanna go back, I wanna, I wanna look around real quick just to make sure I didn't miss anything because that that looks like it's gonna be kind of finale you know what I mean like I think shit's gonna go down when I go there fuck these things but have you considered Let's see um I want to read what you said. Give me but just a mo- Ah, fuck you. Give me but just a moment to read out what you said. Run for your life, girly. I decided to find anything. Let's see. Uh, I saw a video on Reddit of a bunch of old Chuck E. Cheese animatronics that were thrown away due to deuterium and someone hooked them up and let them perform. It was all distorted talk about Nightmare Fuel. Ah, great. Good. That sounds horrifying. Also, is my mic peaking a little bit? I just realized that. Is my mic peaking? Let me check. Let me check. Because if so, I apologize to... Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, my goodness. It's only set to 50. It was at 80 for some reason. I apologize. I must have sounded so screechy. I am so sorry about that, everyone. But, um... Whoop! Sound good? Not so good? Or did I change to 80 on purpose? I don't remember. But, um... That sounds freaky as shit. Oh, that reminds me. That was the other thing. That was the other thing. If if you guys want to like be just horrified of everything, or, uh, like horrified of everything, just because, look up the ride Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Look up that ride, because it's it's just like a little go through, and they put you in a submarine, and it's not actually a submarine. You know, there's like a layer of glass, and the glass fills up with water, so it looks like you're underwater, even though you're not. It's really cool, well designed. Giant animatronic octopus and merfolk and fish and all sorts of scary things that that fluoride was fucking scary as all get out especially as a kid i almost drowned and seeing that like all that fear came back I was like, it's meant to be fun and cool i was sitting there just like pale looking at it, everything freaking out a little bit But, um, yeah, real quick before we continue, I, real quick before we continue, like I said, I apologize about the voice thing, but, like, how's, how does it sound now? Is this, is it too quiet? Is it too loud? Is it improved? Should I change it back? What, what, what are you guys' thoughts before I continue? Let me see if I can find that while, while I wait to see what you guys say. It's loud, but it was, uh, it's good. It, it was a little loud, but it wasn't noticeable to be honest. Okay, so it's good now. All right, cool. I just want to make sure. Um, I'm going to flip to my screen real quick. It should be fine. Yep, you can see myself into the void. Yep. A little bit of... kind of wanted to make a click. All right, fuck it. Even if it's not perfect. There we go. All right, check this shit out. This is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, right? But, like... When it's drained. Just things like that and like ruins of old civilizations. There's a submarine in the dude and there's like little animatronics that move around. 
the squid, the fucking squid is so freaking scary. And you see like the squid attacking like a submarine that looks just like yours, but it's busted and Yep, there it is, there it is. That's the kind of shit you see. That right there. It's creepy as all get out. Like the sea serpent and did oh god, just looking at it. Yes, that that's how I discovered about it. Let me just that's how I discovered about it. There's something called sub mechanophobia, which is the fear of like you know, just things that civilization or whatever has made that's like underwater for whatever reason. And I forget why I watched it. I just did, I think because I was curious. And it was just fascinating and super creepy. It was so weird. But anyways, I apologize for digressing. Uh, for digressing, I I find I find it interesting. There's a weird part of me that likes being scared, and I can't really explain it. Which is why I was so excited to play Silent Hill, you know? Also, we're gonna probably fight the ghost of that one cute cop girl that I saved. Also, they are mutilated with flesh, and I hate it. I no longer want to be- Oh, shit! I no longer want to be here! I no longer want to be here! I no longer want to be- What? What is up with you? Why are you breathing smoke? What the fuck's going on? I'm becoming disorientated. I- I- I don't feel good about this. I- the, This horse is alive. Maybe what a plastic guy versus constraints, that's all. The horse is moving. Not moving because you're stabbed in the head. Stab oh god! The speed, the huge nail. When 13 turns count four, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there's but one way out. To kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the 12th death. I'm sorry, can we read that metal again? I'm sorry. When 13 turns count four, so 13 times around four times, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape this or only out to kill before you are killed, you'll be saved by the 12th death. No, 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 no. Well, is that my health going down? I'm not exactly worried about speed or maneuverability, so I think my health is draining. Pony, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's variable, nice. Yeah, it strikes me the biggest, heaviest weapon I have. Jeez, okay, like what kind of Dungeons and Dragons nonsense is this? Like the weapon does a 1d12, so it's like, oh, you hit him with your great sword. That'll do two damage. I didn't know you hated horses, Max. I didn't either. Apparently, I do. Apparently, I fucking do. I miss. Wish I had a say in the matter. I don't even know it's gonna kill me. 
<laughs> I don't like doing this. I love horses. <laughs> doesn't mean I want to ride. Like, okay, it does not mean I want to own one, which is very convenient for me because my girlfriend, um, her family raises horses, and she straight up said she does not want to. She doesn't want to raise horses because they're very expensive. It's a lot of work and stuff like that. But um, no. Riding nope. horses is magical. I love that. <laughs> Oh, I'm, it, it's just me getting tired, okay. Sorry, girly, but we gotta push through right now. We gotta push through right now. I've, I haven't been keeping track of how many circles we've done, but we gotta put these poor things out of their misery. I hate putting things out of their misery. I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed by who knows what. Peta's in route to your house right now. Fuck Peta. Peta can fucking fight me, frankly. Hello, Attack of the Geo. It's good to see you. But yeah, fuck, fuck Peta. Okay, they they do horrible shit. They like take people's dogs and they lie to people and they they just suck. Fuck Peta. Oh no. <laughs> We're going down, aren't we? I had some spoiler for me. Uh, how the horses change without me knowing? That's dumb. But, like, does your health just drain, or, like, what kills you? Different. Why the fuck do they look different? I see it's from the. Tr <sighs> Officer? Hi. Can we have a word? Timer kills you. Uh, but like. It's me! Oh, yeah. Timing, bitch. I don't know if that's actually working. Hold on. Man, would it be hilarious if she, like... All right, let's go, motherfucker. Take you out. Take you out. Take you out, bitch. Get the fuck over here. Get the fuck over here. Get the fuck over here. Ow! Yeah, fuck you. Nice fight. Oh, nice fight. Oh. Oh. Go and watch that story on your ass, motherfucker. Ooh, fuck you, fuck you. Wow. Ooh, you suck. You ain't got no skills, bitch. Don't think I can't take you. Go, get back here. You don't get to run. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Get it. Get it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Get fucked. That's right. That's right. You can't you can handle me. Ow. Okay, hold on. How much does that actually hurt? Oh, that barely hurts. That's right, bitch. Except jokes on you. I don't know how to talk like that. Jokes on you, bitch. <laughs> I got a big knife. Motherfucker. I'll get back over here. Don't try to lure me away. Oh, what the fuck, man? Everything you change. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Take your time, you circle around. You can't do shit against me. Oh! Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh! Get fucking wrecked! Get fucking wrecked! Man, how far does this go? I don't think she really knows what she's doing right now, to be honest. I'm just kinda, kinda, just gonna kinda let her do it. 
She'll figure it out, don't worry. She'll, she'll get there. She'll get it. Oh! Motherfucker! Wave the samurai, bitch! I power through your blocks. I parry your ass. Welcome to Sekiro. Yeah. Welcome to Sekiro, motherfucker. I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do it, but it's too much fun. Get wrecked. Yeah, she's obviously blocking my attacks, but yeah, I was, I was trying to like, I was trying to catch her as she was slashing. Oh, oh, get stomped on. Oh no. There's two of them, isn't there? Son of a bitch, there's two of them, isn't there? Mm, mm. All right. I might be a little bit more concerned. Woo! That's it, motherfucker! Oh, and you have a knife! And you have a knife! Oh my goodness, you're so clever! Mmm, got yourself a little bit of an upgrade. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you understand. Am I blue? Okay. Alright, motherfucker! Man, you are just full of all sorts of little upgrades, aren't you? Back there. You blocked my ow! Get fucked. Get fucked. I I'm running out of ammo, so I can switch. Oh, that is funny. Oh my goodness, that is funny. Okay, up, 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 up. Okay, I figured out the strat already. Oh my goodness, that just burned through me. Oh man. That's okay, I got um oh, fuck it. Let's give it a try. Don't do shit. Come over here. How about that health? Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing golden. I'm not actually done. I play last of us. So I know what's up. Get over here. Bitch, I'm out of here. Turn around and try to spray and frame me. I don't appreciate it. Stun gun is useless against this boss. Well, thought it was worth a shot. Okay, okay. Yeah, pull out your gun. Pull, pull out your gun. I'm not gonna pull an Overwatch and like shoot my feet. Ah, I said 
I was trying to catch you. Okay, this is kind of working. There you go. Motherfucker! Ah, I was hoping to block that. Motherfucker! Get fucking wrecked! Get dumped on! Alright, um... Okay, where's the new one? Her body isn't disappearing. Get dunked on, fake me. Get fucking wrecked. It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birth, I decide that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle, peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Oh, that, that I just ki I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you are me. You and I don't think like, like oh, well, it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. I don't remember that sick room. Thought you could just kill me, you other fake me. You're not me. Fuck you. You thought about killing your own doppelganger with Alessa's dark hair. I didn't put that together. She wasn't as cute as me. Let's just be honest. I'm pretty damn cute. You know, dirty blonde thing. Maybe. I got, I got, I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking pretty good. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty damn cute. She was a bitch. Let's say, stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. That's what good people do. You know, in the Bible, it talks about how, like, people were praying, hoping the rapture would happen. This was, like, right after Jesus died kind of a thing. I forget what the verse is, but the verse of being, like, you know, that there will be tears when rapture happens because could we not save but one soul more kind of a deal. So it's kind of fucked up to be like, man, I hope the rapture happens because, you know, the rapture is like the time limit, if you will, to save as many people as possible. So fuck this cult is what I'm trying to say. I give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. Doesn't really sound like you're trying to kill me, frankly. And I don't, as proof of your miraculous power, guide our being to willing souls to the root of paradise, O oh Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. I mean, okay, that's kind of it's creepy in this context, but uh, okay. Uh, o oh Lord, save us with your compassion. O oh Lord, trust bless. O oh Lord, favor us with your abundance. I like how the writing actually kind of looks like you know, it's not perfect, but it kind of looks like it could be those words. You can kind of see the word your. Are you hitting on underage me? No, I'm not hitting on... Un okay. When I play character and I'm a girl, I will be very... I, I get really fucking... That's suspicious. I'm not hitting on underage me. I can't hit on underage me because it's me. You know, it it's me. Apologize. It's me. I can't hit on myself. It's me. Yeah, I'm not hitting on myself. I'm saying I'm fucking adorable. I'm not hitting on no one. It's like when you walk... It's like when you look in a mirror and you're like, I'm looking good today. It doesn't mean you want to, like, fuck yourself. It just means that, you know, like, hey, feeling good, feeling confident. Let's fucking go. You know, like, that, that, kind, of, that kind of a deal. Oh, here we go. There's something written on the door. The door, this door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. What? Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. What? Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this Catholic Church is not about the Virgin Mary. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. I'm the most sacrilegious Christian. Straight up I am. Perfect. Let's fucking go, Claudia. I don't gotta take your shit. How did you get here? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's have it some was words. Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. Nah, fuck that guy, honestly. When will he cease his meddling? I think he's a little bit of an asshole, frankly. But it's just as well. Luring you here also serves my purposes. Kind of like the tall candles. They look cool Check aesthetically. Me. It. I, that kind Not of yet. Looks the time Shooter. is not yet at hand. Shooter. Shooter now. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. Shooter. When the paradise we have bam. long dreamed for will arrive. Bam, 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 bam. After the judgment and atonement. Bam. 
An eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. I can't hear you over the not amount of you. bullets I'm throwing down range at Alessa, you. Your true self. This is me firing, by the way. I should be like... But I am Alessa. I killed less bitch. My little Claudia. My dear sweet sister. What the fuck? Alessa? Is it you? Oh, how I've missed you. Don't touch me. I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said Am it I yourself. Fucking with her? The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what? what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? I think I'm fucking with her. Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. This isn't God's salvation. Suffering is a fact of life. True. Either you learn to deal with that, or you go under. Cancel. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you Whoops, can't I couldn't get a good screenshot of the be used for something in the future for you. <sighs> Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. Yeah, I was fucking with you, bitch. Let's go. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. I wish for your death currently. I'll figure out what I want to wish for that, that afterwards. Happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. Mm, I mean, we do you need God. Righteous witch. No one asked you to help. Ah, uh, shit. I'm having my hernia. Is growing within you. I'm having my hernia. That's what happens in real life. You despise yeah, me, don't yeah, you? Curl over a little. You're yeah. damn right I do. I'm fucking with you. I'm gonna shoot That's you. That's good. I can still shoot you. <laughs> Bitch, get your ass over here. Actually, I wanna, I wanna real quick appreciate the. Okay, fine, never mind. Hold on, I'll save. I'll save. Fuck you! I got the Eye of Knights tarot card. Oh, great! It is JoJo! Oh, good! Was Eye of Knight a JoJo? Was Eye of Knight a JoJo? It probably was. Let's see. Eye of Knight. JoJo. Eyes of Heaven? Girls Night Out? Nightbird Flying? Wall Eyes? Yeah, whatever. I appreciate the paintings. I bet they look lovely. Um, faith. So got. Oh, 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 shit, shit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, hey, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I, I gotta get to the first one. I gotta get to the first one. Okay, okay. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I'm shit. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, okay, that's a big door. It's nice. All right. Um, that's another door. Okay, we're not gonna worry about. There's nothing on the table. Alright, cool. No, no, no. I got I gotta do this in order. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on this thing. Okay, hang on. Okay, so this is the lady in red. No, I ah, damn it. No, I'm still not I'm still not the right one. Okay, it's kinda weird that you have to come to the front and then you have to then you have to like do a little clockwise, but okay, I get it. Origin. In the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but death never came. They despaired, stuck in the eternal quagmire. Quagsire? That sounds awful. It's like Valhalla, but painful. There's a snake around me. I'm looking pretty good. Birth. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy, feeling pity for the sadness that over on the earth God was born from those two people. That's... A, I assume you mean a manifestation of God and not God... Salvation. God made time and divided it into night and day, day and night. God, God outlined the road to salvation and gave people joy. And God took endless time away from the people. I guess providing death is a comfort. And I, um, creation. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her, who I assume is a manifestation of God. The red god, Zoshilbara. The yellow god, Lobsilvith. Men... If I rearrange those letters, so many gods and angels. <laughs> that you have Zolchirbara, you have Lobsolvith, and you have whatever the else fuck is over there. 
Finally, God set out to create paradise where people would be happy just by being there. <laughs> Cat's a little concerning, not gonna lie. Uh, promise. But there's but there God's strength ran out and she collapsed. One, I see what conduit. <laughs> Apologies. All the world's people grieve this unfortunate event, yet God breathed her last. She returned to the dust, promising to come again. Well, the manifestation. Let's go. Faith. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait and hope for the day when the path to paradise will be open. That kind of looked like one of those Japanese toilets. I don't really know how I feel about that. Did I save yet? I'm going to save. Just to be safe. Hopefully the game doesn't yell at me for saving too much. I'm, I just want to be safe. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, chapel. Oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I like to cancel save operation. I don't want the game to yell at me. Then I can do it the organ. I don't know how to play anyway. I know how to play the Lost Woods song. Back to that. Back to that. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of her. Shoot the shit out of her. Think she can summon a lesser doppelganger to fuck me over? Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna kill you. You made me go through a creep. Oh my gosh, it's a confessional. With a, has a check that plays with the vocalist to the soundtrack, reads all those paintings. Cool. <laughs> oh, I hate it! <laughs> um, is it forgive me, Father, for I've sinned, or punish me, Daddy, for I'm naughty? <laughs> I just stick a gun through and shoot him. Just stick the shotgun through and just light it up. Dear God. Please forgive me. This is why confessionals are bullshit. I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. No, that's the point of a confessional. You're not supposed... No, and it's you confessing. I'll go to my death gladly. And with a peaceful heart. Um. But please... Grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. This doesn't really sound like a very loving God. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. No, that's the point of the golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Purgatory is hell. It's a, it's Allow me to atone for my sins there. It's hell's waiting room. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption. I don't think that's how flames work. No matter how they burn me. Nah, I'm, mm. <laughs> Forgive me my wicked act of revenge. Daddy, I've been naughty. <laughs> and deliver the soul of my poor, murdered daughter. Please. Also, care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. Her name's Heather, isn't it? Oh, God. I am a child. Tell me the name of the girl. Trembling God needs to hear the name of the girl. I Tell me the name of the girl. Death. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please forgive me. You are forgiven. Okay, real quick, real quick. I see, I, please tell her to tell me for my sins up. I take copies of this guy for my blasphemy. Fuck you, Tyler. The game the PS2 release is really nice. The was such they just include. Okay, real quick, real quick. You guys told me. You guys told me that there were some choices at the end that would affect whether or not I, good, I got the good or bad ending. I want to tell her that I say I forgive you. Is that Okay. And do it. Like, is it, are we at the end of the game? I forgive you. Are we at the end of the game? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I, I wanted to. I wanted to forgive her. Just making sure. Also, I'm not your Lord. I'm not your God. I'm not your God, buddy. <laughs> but not on your first run. <laughs> not your God, buddy. <laughs> Not your buddy friend. Not your friend guy. 
Not your guy, girl. There's nothing more to be said. Hmm. You're at the equivalent of SH2's hotel. Oh shit. Get the fuck out! I wanna say sorry to the preacher! <laughs> Wait. What? What? That's a silence. That sounds like the opposite of what I should. I should. I should say nothing. Oh, that was probably Dahlia's spirit you were listening to. Spirit? Oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Bye! Well, you already know I'm here, so fuck it. Ah. Shit. I didn't think you were gonna hit me there. Fuck you! You forgot the map near the confession booth. Well, thank goodness. Thank goodness you told me that. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, God. Hey, oh, that's the... Mm. I got a church map. Are you fucking serious? Oh, my goodness. That's the church map. Okay. That's the church map. Oof. Okay. That's the church map. A fucking crayon drawing. That. We have to make ourselves. Wait, oh. It's really dark. It's an employee's kid prop. Son of a bitch. Love the rabbit on the bomb. Okay, it is kind of cute. Uh, there's no use for me as far as I can tell. A tape recorder. Dope. Um, important paperwork. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, it's a, hey! Hey! Represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun, and heraldry symbolizes a religious group. Fuck this religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn red, occasionally drawn black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning to a curse on God is therefore forbidden. Really? Really? You doing okay over there? You, you doing okay over there, lighting effect? Really? Blue? Shit! Ow! You get your little squishy feet out of here, motherfucker. Thank God I can shove you. Get that fuck away from me. Get that fuck away from me. But really? <laughs> Friend or foe? Oh god, I'm fucking hurt. There you go. Hey guys, I think the game is saying cults are really weird. <laughs> we should probably avoid them. Yeah. 
child walked into this painting. It ain't a fine heaven stuff. The special I can feel there's something behind this picture, though. The girl's cries supposed to disappear beyond. After all, we move it in. Yeah, sure. Good stuff. It's a plain old wheelchair. Uh, is there are these numbers? 033640 or D40. Oh, uh, flab is actually just liquid muscle. And I know that painting is important, but. St. Jennifer, unwavering faith under death is blade. What if it's a real saint? I, I, I'm not, I'm not perfect. Saint Alessa. Oh, fuck you! Mother of God, daughter of God, this picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby, and I'm the baby being held. That me that wanted death and, that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago, and the me here and now the sought in life. I'll fucking get it. Saint Nicholas. Ah, of course, Santa. Can I use this to save? That's what I said in the paper back there. So death is the end. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Thanks for your courage. I'd die as less if I'm still living this myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. Oh, I can save. Right, but like... I need to find some blue paint. I need to find some blue paint. Because... Oh, we doing that. Because fuck this religion. <laughs> Probably at least a guard. I can't tell what that is. It's some kind of fallen man. Probably at least a garland's. That's what you told me before, right? That like a lot of this does come back to being Lisa. Ah. Oh shit. I don't have death perception. Oh, hi. Uh, hi, can we not? Bitch. That's a little bullshit. That was a little. That was well. That was, that was kind of a little bullshit. Was condemned to suffer in prison because Silent Hill in the other world. But why was she condemned? That was a little. That was a little. That was kind of dumb. Not gonna lie. Because I I tried going in what I thought was the opposite direction, but apparently it just kind of dove me in and. So the chapel is full of references they just want to chill. Alright, so now I gotta actually watch my step and excuse me. Damn it. Shit! Man, that guy's fast! Because she was complicit to what they did to Alyssa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. If I get away with that. Okay. Nope. There we go. I, I should probably kill him, but if he's as... Well, it's a smaller version of the one boss. Okay, so that book's probably important. First, I want to clear the area, make sure we're all sorts of kosher in here before I start poking around. Okay, cool. All right. Silent Hills, Ancient Gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. I would like to read this. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll fuck up. Ah, uh, fucking Christians, right? <laughs> Uh, the shared characteristics we get to here. Lord of Serpents and Reeds, but by their opponents. Ow! 
That means nothing to me. Because I think he actually is Satan. There's a book on tarot here. On Tarot. Is tarot, right? Not tarot. Tarot. Tarot was based on the 22 Hebrew concepts. It is said to represent the entire world. Uh... Or not show as a child in that level of pain up to being burned probably would have had a hard time different in front of you if it's face or friendliness. Yeah, that's fair. Five nights at Freddy's. All right. Each card numbered 0 through 21 has a particular meaning. And Star Platinum and Purple Hermit are the best ones. All right. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician. Ah, yes. That one is the Firebird. Was his name Abdul? I think his name might have been Abdul. Right? Jojo? Jo jo was it Abdul? That guy was cool. I liked him. Abdul? Yeah! Muha his oh, Abdul. Muhammad Abdul. Oh. Yeah, he had he had the stand of magician. It was a firebird. Uh, because of destruction and fraud. The high priestess denotes intuition. I don't remember who had the high priestess. Let's be honest. Uh, the Garner deck. I'm on 22 cards. Uh, only in literature. It's said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vows and denote an otherworldly chance of existence, i.e. God. Well, it's Hebrews. There's fucking God everywhere. I mean, jeez. The freaking... The Jews are God's chosen people. I mean, come on. Nah. Okay. Um... Let's blank. I got the moon. Why am I walking away? Oh, fuck you! Gun is out. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> Hiya, Heather. Hiya! <sighs> you show up everywhere, don't you? Especially when you're not wanted. No, you make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. What a coincidence that you called yourself that. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Uh, you're Satan. Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. You're my dad. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. That doesn't mean you're not fucking... Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. That's what everyone fucking says. <sighs> so why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? <sighs> It's not uncommon for people to worship the same god and still disagree. <laughs> god? You sure you don't mean devil? Devil. Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't fucking trust you, Vince, you piece of shit. I don't want God to be born. I will fight you. It wouldn't be convenient. <sighs> Much too unpredictable so you've been using me to stop claudia is that it i mean do your own dirty work I, I... my dirty work i think we both had our own interests in mind i think you're satan frankly you hate her too don't you you're the only one who can get it done i don't have powers like you two I don't have powers. Besides, I have a gun. I always hated getting all hot and sweaty. That sounded really creepy. Oh, really? I'm just, tickling I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. That's fine. Huh. That is true. We are, we are inherently self -made. Don't That's stand there looking thing. so smug. That's not a bad You're thing. the worst person in this room. That fuck you, man. Come here and enjoy spilling their blood and and listening to them cry out. You don't know my life. You feel excited when you step on them, snuff out their lives. Is this the game's way of saying I killed too many people? Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? Is this the game's uh, way of saying I killed too many people? They look like monsters to you? Oh, don't do this! <laughs> Oh no. Don't, Don't worry. It's just a joke. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that to me. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? Uh, the seal of, of Megatron? You don't have it? 
Leonard was carrying it. You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this. I don't want that to... This better not be the game's way of telling me I killed too many people. Had way to town, Elisa died, but her spirit was stuck in all the world to compare me to the first game. But... Other world laws. Laws. Like I, I, I thought, I thought he was pulling that of like, yeah, you, you're a monster. He's gonna be like, you piece of shit. A big old book I got from Vincent in the archives. Okay, cool. Well, let's take a look. See. All right. Seal of Met Seal of Megatron. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, can we look at that again? Huh. Huh. It would have been sort if I we were actually seeing illusions and worth aware. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, like, I feel like the question is still there about whether or not this place is even real. So that's why there's part of me that's like, mm. okay, so. Sorry, okay, so here's the question. It's a, it's a thing. I suppose I don't use it on the creature. I need some blue paint is what I need. Okay, I'm gonna have to get past this asshole. Hurt, but not bad. I'm not sure it's okay, so See, I think it makes sense that everyone's seen their own monsters that can come in the form of realistic succubi or not. Look, man, I'm feeling a little judged. The fucking Maria was a succubus. You, you. Woo! This is bad. The fucking Maria was a succubus. 100%. She was gonna, she was gonna suck my soul out, and it was not gonna be a good time for anyone. Most monsters are actually monsters manifested by the identity. All right, I got a seal. Damn it, that was worth a shot. I thought I was. I thought I was being clever. I got a, I got a seal. Damn it. Okay. Uh, look at dumb lumpy butts. All right. Um, moon, eye of night. I assume I can't. Uh, I am 
not entirely sure what to do. I mean, I guess just. Hmm. I mean, there's that side little room. Is that it? Is that what they want me to fiddle with? Well, anyways, I gotta go. Let's see. It's just Marshall Man. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I need to go to the bathroom super quick. So I'm gonna be right back. Everyone take a. Everyone take a two minute break. Super quick. So. Just everyone go back real quick. So. Back. Sorry about that. I wanted to really quick eat a banana, and I know we talked about how you can eat on stream, but I figured a banana was one of those foods that we probably shouldn't. So, nope. Oh, okay, I want sleep. Hope you both are still with me, cause man, I don't know where I'm going. Ooh wee. All right. Okay, so if I had to look at the map and make something up, I would think that little square. Is where we need to go to next. Cause I don't know if that little square is. At least I think. Yeah. Wait, what's this? Oh, 
Oh, okay. So, here we go. Okay, this confirm. Return to the right. Okay. Shit. Territory. Uh. Okay. Oh. Good. No, they're definitely dead. Okay. Don't seem to get up anytime soon. Oh, you say that. Uh, well, it's got me used to the strangest things teach me to say, but they're still totally disgusting. I thought I'm gonna go crazy. My social media might even already be crazy. Who knows? Glad we're on the same page, I guess. Okay. Okay, how's this look on the map? Oh, good, I got two pages. How convenient, little bunny. How convenient. Oh, good. Turn the light on. That's a good sign. I got a stun battery. Stun batteries are fucking worthless. On the bed. All right. Um, this writing is this dad's diary. Why would it be? Oh shit. Uh, no matter what, encourage me that that girl was. But that, by the, but that name was mistake at the time. I thought of her only as a replacement. I'll share when she knows the truth. What she feel? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was less after all. But I do just, but I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. There's something in the morgue. Oh, shit! I right, will. We'll go back. I sometimes sense even now that the girl's reincarnation list. I don't. I don't worry about it much now. That's that's all forgiven. Uh, can't see anything in here. Okay. Great. Looks are all the same. Looks are all the same as dad's. Oh, this is the door out. Okay, good. I was gonna say, like, oh. Woo! Son of a bitch. Oh my goodness. Fuck this guy. And his little... There's so many of them. Fuck that guy and his tonfas. Although, I do have a lot of pistol ammo, so it's not like I can't use my pistol. There's something in the morgue, you said. Alright, so where is... Where is this? Oh, 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 you are right. You are right. I got the hanged man. Uh, soon I will get the world, though. Anything else here? Nah, it's you. It's you. It's you I'm worried about. All right. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, there's probably one or two on the the path here um that's barred okay cool good stuff i think just one i think one just fell and is gonna be following me soon oh good i can't see okay, cool. Shit. 
I was really hoping to run past. Do I need to like throw a bullet and then run past or what? Well, I already hate being here. Am I dying? I see footsteps again. All right, monkey, come back out. Okay. Go to the end of the hallway first. Yep. And see what's that turning sound. Well, it sounds like a wheelchair. I don't even entirely know what I'm looking at. But that that was oh. It's the image from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, but even then I I I still don't know what it is. What do you mean? There's no no description is too risky, never mind. Uh also is this this is the this is the room cuz that's Alessa, isn't it? There's something stuck in this book. It's another card. The fool. <gasps> That's the one that the dog has. I forget. I uh, feel like I have to read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. Aglophotis. Red liquid or crystals resembling blood. What? According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from a herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is as rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. Are supposed to be a lessons and Cheryl's. What's the creature? Alright, uh, we'll figure that out. Um, when I was seven, I looked bored and sad. Well, of course I do. I was always like that back then. M Dahlia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in the hospital. And I stayed up until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away at me from within, driving me in mad suffering. There I was, wish I could just die and be done with it, but I went on living that night for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. I don't remember them because I'm not less anymore, but less is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. That's Vadiel. Wait, shit, who's Vadiel? Shit, wait. It's name isn't mentioned in game. No. I was gonna say who 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 fuck who fucking vadia. Just trying to see if there's anything here. I just don't want to run and get me out of here. It's been watching you. Watching my. No shit. Ooh, fat man. I'm looking at Vadio. 
still there. Man, that is the that is the last thing I want watching my progress. Valtiel is liking. I didn't lose another one. You guys had a baby. Congratulations. I'm leaving. Let's see. If you die in here or any of the hell versions, it drags you away slowly and the screen fades to black. That doesn't give me the good feelings. You haven't died much in this playthrough. It's like jokes on you. I haven't died for any reason whatsoever. Or here's the rooms you visit in each one. Yeah, the only the only times I've died were for stupid reasons. Stupid reasons that don't count. I know it wasn't me. I must have wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. Probably one in the graveyard. Like pretty much one to one replicas. Where do I get the color blue? Where do I get the color blue? I wanna. I, I wanna. I wanna fuck up some people's shit. I got Brasky. I did that in accident. Our surf scene in Heather's mind. Um. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense a presence. Something extremely dangerous seems sickening or me. What they call God. And unless I'll open the door enough, this I to chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. No, them. Yeah. I'm with you, Dad. I'm with you, Dad. Really awful work. I had a dream. In my dream, I opened a door, but was that really me? I had a different name. Oh, good. Ingwix, Nexio, Mox, not the. That's uh, some kind of code, I think, maybe? Mm. Five are true and four are lies, and there are some fibs mixing with the truth. That's because it's scary to write only the truth, but dreams, dreams are like lies after all. But they're simulations. Are... Great. Um, hmm. This is going to be a... She used to draw Claudia, too. A nice daddy and mommy in a fun school. A happy world where everyone smiled and laughed all day long. Everything we never had. Molly, you need to decide whether or not you want to stay in the office. Like Oz and Alice, here's Mother Goose. I used to love these. Uh, uh, time to wax out of these old clothes. Don't fit me now. Wait, that was a good thing too. Let me just uh, let me just grab this real quick. Uh, five are true and four are lies, and there are some figs mixed in with the truth. That's because it's scary, right? On the You don't have everything yet? Thank goodness. Cause I had no I was about to I was about to sit there and stare at it. Wait, what? Zelda oh to randomize the stream. What? Oh, cuz oh, cuz I was going da 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 Haven't you noticed? I do that sometimes. Like I I I do that sound a song when I'm thinking sometimes. I think I've done that in front of you guys before. All right. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Also, do I even want to do a randomizer of Ocarina of Time? Not really. Yeah. I don't know. Is, would a would a randomizer be fun with Ocarina? What would she even do? I mean. Fuck you! 
I can't open that door. It's super fun, is it? Maybe I'm a killjoy, I don't know. Damn it. I don't know where to go. All right, um, let's go just check out this door at the end of the hallway. Damn it. What's that? Along with Skulltola drops? That sound... Well, doesn't that mean you would just, like, start dungeons and then you wouldn't be able to do anything, so you'd have to just leave and then you just come back to the dungeons later? Maybe there's an aspect of that. Ow! Ow! Bitch, fuck you. Open the door, okay? I do have a brass key. Oh. Um. Oh, is that what that is for? I, I, I have to go all the way back to the beginning? Is that it? Oh, God, that's it, isn't it? Oh, shit. Well, here we go. Great, good. I got two, I got two mosquitoes, and I got that asshole. I'm never done it now that I think about it. I don't know. Err, you see, you have to do a lot of. Um, let me go this way. See, you'd have to do. I guess it depends on how much you like just being in Hyrule. Oh shit, it's the other way. Excuse me. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I, I guess, I guess, randomizers have never really appealed to me, just because. How would I describe it? How how would I describe my headshots? Basically, in my mind. Oh shit. Basically, in my mind, I would have replaying the good Zelda game once a year is always fun. That is true. That is true. It's been a long. It has been a hot minute since I've played Ocarina of Time. Although I, I oh, shit. Although I, I will say between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, I actually do prefer Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. I think the theming and storytelling of it is a lot more fun. You know what I mean? Shit. Oh wait, hold on. The whole place covered in blood. Fuck this. There's fat man over here, isn't there? Oh god, the whole place is... Dude, I bet if I go in the chapel, it's fucking horrifying. Bet if I go in the chapel, it's fucking horrifying, right? Ah. Did I play the vanilla so many times just next to explain different? That's true, yeah, keep you on your toes. I, I can understand that aspect of it. The horror. Well, I mean, okay. I think I, I like Majora's Mask more because I like the theming of it. I liked the, like, just the storytelling I thought was a lot more fun. And, like, sure, the mechanics were mostly the same. And sometimes using, like, the mask or whatever was, like, a bit, uh, a bit tedious. It, but, um, I just really like the themes. How, like, a lot of stories have, like, this low-key... This, like, very low-key sense of existential horror, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, the most immediate example that comes to mind is, um... Y'all remember the quest where you had to protect the cows from the aliens? Which was funny in its own right. But then, like, you talk to the... You talk to, like, the, farm, the farmer girls whose names I don't remember afterwards. And it's basically implied that she is going to give the alcoholic milk to the daughter so that she will go to sleep... And not feel the moon, you know, collapse on the world and kill everyone. Like, that. That kind of shit is like, oh, this is horrifying. Or just the idea that, like, 
each of the five i know this is something that everyone knows but like um what was i gonna say um i like how majora's mask that each of the places represent a a stage of of grief because you have like denial being the main town and then anger being the dekus um bargaining being the gorons the, like sadness being the zoras and then acceptance but i never really thought acceptance kind of translated that well but still like just those kinds of themes i thought was great this desk looks dirty as shit uh i can't read that go home drop dead thief again again i seem to recall seeing that in the first or second the first game first game uh, oops, and there's life stuck in here. Let's see. This girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you, sh you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Oh, okay. Most likely her mother's abuse here. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or boost. Her expression is beautifully dark for a six year old. Something like this may not be so uncommon rather than coming up with a point of the point of the It's best just to watch and wait. Oh, good. Is there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. Kay Gordon. Uh, that name should sound familiar, but I don't remember. It's a pretty ho hum picture. <laughs> but, um,. Crap, what was my thought? Oh, my thought on a randomizer is I feel like it would be one of those situations where it might be fun to get, like, weird items. But once you get once you get an item that is, like, an end game item that lets you do all sorts of shit, wouldn't you just kind of, like, snowball? And that'd just be it, because you'd just be using the one good item while you, like, fish for the other ones. But I could be thinking of, like, um... Like, Super Metroid. Or, like, uh, Link to the... Or like Link to the Past, like those kinds of games. Or um, Castlevania. You know, because you get like an end game Castlevania Adam. Like, um, what was it? I played Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. But, um, and then I saw there's like Aria of Sorrow. Oh shit, it's cassette player. Le no, level of logic. Okay. Let's see, um, but. Yeah, uh, someone told me that there was a randomizer for Aria of Sorrow, and I was like, oh, that sounds cool. And the first thing that went to my head, aren't you just going to get, like, a, a attack or an item that's, like, end game, and then you're just going to use that the entire time and just call it, or, you know? Or you're going to get the one item that, like, turns you into a bat or whatever that lets you, like, fly, but it costs mana. Aren't you just going to use that to bypass everything? Or, you know, it, those are the kind of questions that went to my head with randomizers. But, um, uh, Father Vincent. Oh, good. Is he really right for him for such a city? I mean, no place to die. Like, send him. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Maybe I'll consider it. It has been a long time since I've played Ocarina of Time. Or Majora's Mask. But, um, I'd probably treat it the same way that I did Pikmin. Just because it's a game I have played before, so I just power through it kind of a thing. Not explore every little thing. Uh, even though we believe in God, if there was some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our tactics, but for the depth of our face? L.S. Sorry, hold on. Did I, did I? Uh. Okay, I didn't. L.S. 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 That combines both the link to the past of Super Metroid and use the fortune teller houses in to swap to Metroids. You can find items for one game and the other two. I saw that. So, um. Okay, so there's a, there's a YouTube channel and they are really big inspirations for me. At, called, um. Well, it, it's all under, like, Normal Boots, which is, like, the team, but specifically, like, I'm the completionist, and then he has a gameplay channel called Super Beard Bros. I saw them play a version of that, where it was, like, they were mixed, and you had to, like, keep going back and forth. It was really cool. It was super interesting. Would I ever do it? Mm. But I, I thought it was really clever, like, how they made that work. What am I doing again? Oh, yeah. Um, eh, 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 no, no, no. Let's regret life. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? Wait, is that Harry? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. Who's that voice? A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. Uh, that's great. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. Ah, uh, you're one of those people. But God drove the unbelievers away, 
and threw them into the abyss. Fucking Protestant. Due to their I, I say that as a Baptist. God was unable to be born properly. Oh. And so she has slumbered ever since. Oh. In the womb of the Holy Mother. That sounds nice, dude. Until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. Nope. Great, good talk. Good talk. That's it, huh? Ah, uh, good talk. Well, thanks. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Father hmm. Vincent. Oh, I it heard is that the Holy oh, Mother okay. has been found. Is it true? Uh, uh, mm. Alessa has been found. Oh. Uh, uh, put more yes. money in the offering plate. I need more hookers. It must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. We Maybe can't it's bless the Lord. Of her We're great great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. She kind of wakes me out, not gonna lie. She has got really intense eyes. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes. But does that mean that this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? Maybe. If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. Now, really, more offering money for hookers. And lots of communion wine. So much communion wine. But, um, okay, sorry. To, to finish that thought, I, I, maybe I consider it. I don't know. I would be more into doing, I would be more into doing the Link Between Worlds and the Super Metroid randomizer than I would the, um, than I would the Ocarina of Time one. Just on the grounds of I've played Ocarina of Time multiple times in the past, so, you know, doing the other one. I've only played through Super Metroid and Link to the Past once. Although I did play the one remake, but anyway, either way. The Link Between Worlds, the the one where you go into a painting, which I thought was very cool. It was a really fun game. But, um, I don't know. I'd, I'd consider it. it. It's not my first thought of things that I would do, but i keep it in mind. But the other thought I had was you guys discussing, like, favorite 3D Zeldas. I don't know. I'm I'm so bad at picking favorite games because to me they're like all my children. I have a. It's kind of like with Dark Souls. I have a real hard time being like I like this Dark Souls the most. No, I kind of put them all in a bubble. They're all. I don't really look at Dark Souls one separately from Dark Souls two. I look at them all as Dark Souls. <laughs> and even though like Sekiro is so much different, I'll put Sekiro in there too and Bloodborne. I'll just put that in there too. I look at I I have a hard time looking at series like individuals instead of series. That's just me. I know you have a large backlog of games to play, too. Yeah. We got our next series, and I wasn't able to find a hack. Shit. Shit. I'm so good at dodging. Shit. How many of you bastards are... No, they're gonna tap dance on me. How many of you bastards are there in here? Fuck you. Is there like no door? There's no door in here! Fuck you! I couldn't tell if anything was in there. There probably was. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let, let's work it down as a maybe. As a, as a general, as a maybe, because. Uh. This over there. Because I want, I want to play. I want to play. Well, I think I told you guys before about it. I want to play Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy Shootin'. Yeah, Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy Shootin'. The name Claudia Wolf is written very small on this cover. Give me shit, my now. Have you played the Soul Series? Yes, I absolutely adore the Soul Series. That being said, okay, this is gonna sound weird. I adore the Soul Series. So you know, Dark Souls one, two, three, Bloodborne. Uh, Bloodborne, Sekiro. Uh, I started Demon Souls, but I never finished it. But I never started on stream, and because now it's on the PS5, I would want to wait until I have the PS5 to play it, which I don't have because I'm not made of money. Um, and then all sorts of games that are Soul Z, you know what I mean? Freaking um, Surge, for example. There's a few others. Uh, Lord I started Lords of the Fallen, but I never fully got into it, so I should probably do that. Maybe on the stream, maybe not. I don't know. It seemed kind of bit over the top, but. You know. Yeah, in general, I I absolutely love Dark Souls games. Just generally speaking. So if you're like, what's your favorite? Go. I'd be like, 
because I kind of judge them all as a group, and I'm the same way with all game series. So when you're like, "What's your favorite Legend of Zelda?" I'm like, uh, "If you had, if you held a gun, I'd say either Breath of the Wild or Majora's Mask." But even then, I'm like, uh. "But anyway." November 10th. She didn't die then. She was born. I knew that for a fact. My shirt is tucked in. I'm okay. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. i really like to see her. November 14th. Read the book of praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found where I had been searching for her in there. How to awaken God. I'll be able to pull it off when I see her. Blah, this has been an eventful week. Uh, so I read a modern history of refugees and young slaves' child exploitation. Oh, God. Oh, God. That didn't help me. All right. There's an old birthday card. <gasps> to little Claudia, happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. So I take it. So I take it, uh, Vincent isn't, uh, hmm. Okay, so I think we need to go back now. How many, how many of, how many of these do we have? So we have one, two, three, four, five. Um... Didn't this card mean something like genuine belief? Uh. Fool. Um. Alright, because it's a trek, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Do. Is, is it time to go back? Do we have everything we need? Uh, do we have everything we need for the door? Because if I had to make a bet, I would say we do. But I'm not 100% sure. Have I gone through this door? Yeah, you have them all. Okay, good. Because... Fuck this place. That's bullshit. That's also bullshit. Bitches. Okay, that plan did not work. I was kind of hoping to knock him out of the way. Uh, God, it hurts. Uh, oh, Wind Waker. All good. I haven't really played much past them. Sort of didn't get into Twilight as a kid, but I've considered playing it. It's down in the game Buckers after I played Legend of Dragoon and Chrono Cross. Heard both very good things about both those games, so I haven't played them. But I've never been able to finish due to, due to buying warp disc back when I had my PS. Oh, that's awful. I'm sorry to do that. I can't get past. Great. Okay, fine. I'll go through, I'll go through the room full of monsters. Okay, fuck you. Oh, it's not full of monsters. Never mind. So, um, I okay. I was Twilight Princess and um, all the games past there. Just as like a quick aside, Twilight Princess. I feel like tried to be it. It was going. It was trying to be very dark and very eerie and creepy. And in many ways, I think it did a really good job. But there's also a lot about that's kind of silly and weird. Some of the items you get are a bit like, meh. The wolf mechanic is fun, but sometimes it feels kind of forced in. You know what I mean? But overall, I'd still say it's a good time. It it was the game that made the it was the game that made the Zelda that was used in all the games until and and all the Super Smash Bros. games until the most recent one. So you know if that's a notable thing. I think it's like a very well designed. And then like that look of Ganondorf is iconic too. I think it's a good game series. They did Zant dirty, but you'll learn you'll you'll learn who Zant is really quick. Uh Skyward Sword, a lot of people shit on it. I honestly really liked it. I don't like that bubbling sound. It's raining blood, isn't it? It's raining blood. Good. Um. Good fucking. Bl I can't tell if this is the game's way of saying it's raining blood or if blood is moving around. You know what I mean? The walls are leaking. I get. God. 
Thank you. Thank you, fucking horrible people. Some, somebody needs to get a repairman here. A little bit. Oh, God. Okay. But, um... What are the other games? What are the other games? Yeah, so a lot of people really shit on Skyward Sword because they, like, really... They, like, really put motion controls in. And sometimes, yeah, it's true. It feels a little gimmicky, and it feels a little frustrating. I'm gonna drop save. It feels a little frustrating, you know, when there's enemies that's like, you have to slash, and then you have to blur. And now, and now draw the symbol. So, that bridge back there, did you look over the side? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Mostly because there's a thing trying to kill me, so I guess I'm gonna go back and... It's a game telling you're in the wound about to be birthed. This is... Oh, th like this? What the fuck? Shaking the shit out of it? What the fuck are you doing? It's like you're choking it out. It, it, it appears to be a female of some sort. Oh, it's, wait, it's a nurse. Oh, it's a nurse. Why is your gravity always sideways? Oh, God. It's just beating the shit out of a nurse. Good stuff. All right, anyway. Anyway. Ah, good. Good, good, good. All right. Alright, alright, alright. Probably a waste, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, that, this combo doesn't make sense. Okay, fine, whatever, I'll just use one. Okay. That's like Velta shaking the nurse, yeah. Just for giggles, I'll just... Kind of throw them up there. You know what I mean? Just kind of, just for sake of this. And okay, sorry. To finish my thoughts, to finish my thoughts on the on the newer Zelda games, you know, if they sound good to you. Um, yes, yes, it is. It is one hundred percent worth playing. I'll get there in a second. So Skyward Sword, it like I think a lot of people really didn't like its mechanics. I think I had a lot of like cool ideas, but it did kind of feel backtracky. And this is a little bit of a spoiler. Basically, there's, like, three or four areas. I forget. I think there's, like, three. And, like, something happens, and then you revisit them, but they're all different. So, it, it kind of, it's cool, but it's also kind of, like, it, it feels like a lot of gimmicks. It feels like a lot of gimmicks kind of, like, put together, and they really want you to go, motion controls, bleh, which, don't get me wrong, is really cool. Um, Just definitely when you play the game, don't think you have to do this when you slash, right? Just, like, flicks to the wrist, and you'll be fine, like gentle small movements works better and it, it, it is a good game in its own right i think it is really cool even though it's like oh they reuse multiple boss fights oh they reuse areas and da, da, da. i still think it was a lot of fun the soundtrack is beautiful the, like the the art style i think is really good too uh yeah, yeah it's a prequel it's a prequel but um no one gives a shit about timelines and legends let's just be honest it's not why we're here but um no, I, I think Skyward Sword is good in its own right. Like, I know people shit on it a lot, but I think it is really good. Um, and then newer games since then. Uh, Link Between Worlds is fantastic. Uh, the remakes for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask were very well done. Um, they did a remake for Link's Awakening, which I haven't played, but I remember really liking the original Link's Awakening. And then I think... I think, yeah, it's Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is... Basically, their goal was to, like... You know how the very first original... Hey, I do. Redwis, Redwis, I'm sorry to tell you this. No one cares. It's not a coherent story. I'm all in that split warp timeline branching nonsense. It, it doesn't matter, Redwis. It makes no sense, and you know it doesn't make sense. Don't lie to me, Redwis. But, um, now nah, I'm just giving you shit. So, Breath of the Wild, their goal was to make it feel like the first game, the very, very first game, and that you're just kind of wandering around and being like, the fuck do I do over here? So, the game is very much designed to be open-ended 
like technically they lock you in a tutorial area and they're like hey do the tutorial because we're trying to teach you how to use these like silly mechanics that feel very niche but then you can realize like creative ways to use them technically from there you can go to the final dungeon and win people have done it it's crazy but there's like there's there's four other dungeons and then there's all sorts of like these little mini challenges and it's all optional that's the cool thing it's all optional but that game is just such a delight to just explore so i i would 100 percent recommend breath of the wild i think it's a fantastic game i think it's really really good it is not a game meant to be rushed explore have fun experiment play with your mechanics talk to everyone just have fun. It's definitely one of those games that, like, you can't be, like, the whole time. No, you have to just explore. The beauty of nature. The beauty of exploring a brand new world, you know? Like, a square soft felt well F9 compared to the original and everyone shot when it first came out. Now look how well it is. You mean Skyward Sword? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if F9 well enough, so I can't, I can't necessarily answer that question. I'm sorry. I think people warmed up a Skyward Sword more. More back to roots. It's actually one of my favorites. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, sure. But I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't know the game myself, so I can't be like, yeah, just like that. You know what I mean? All right, so we need to figure out this puzzle now. The game's probably like, man, you're like staring at this thing for a hot minute. And it needs you to figure it out or sooner or later bitch. And I'm like, oh, shit. You call me out. You call me a bitch. All right, so, 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 so. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look at this. Ing O E I W X X I F F N X A V I I Mox Son Hot Hun Hishfe. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. Okay. So they said, hey, I like Twilight Princess or Wind Waker more. I don't know which one I would say I like more. I love Wind Waker's art style. I think it's really cute. But, um, don't, I, that's tough. I don't know. I don't know which one. Anyways, we got a puzzle that I have no fucking clue how to solve. Just for the record, I, I have no idea how to solve this. Uh, 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 I mean, yeah, sure, they're flawed, but like, you know, every game is, you know? It's kind of like how I said before that, like, I, it, it seems like at first that I may be, like, really harsh on games, but it's not because I hate them. It's because, it's not because I hate them. It's because I want them to be better, and I appreciate their details enough to, like, look into it, as opposed to being, like, this sucks and getting rid of it. So, I, I don't want to ever say, like, games I love are perfect, because I don't think I've ever played perfect games. Uh, for like, there's some figs mixed in the truth. Man, I don't get this puzzle. I don't get it. Uh, duh, duh, duh. uh, even though it has more grinding souls rather than remaster mechanically, I hate how they nerfed the Triforce Gathering segments and some other things. I have the remake for Wind Waker, but I've never played it. Same with Twilight Princess. I have it, but I've never played it because I already beat the game. So I was like, you know what? Uh, examine the cards in the puzzle. Okay, sure. I can do that. Oops. Okay. So the Eye of Night. We got XX11. Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, XX11. Zero. Well, there's three of them. There's four of them with O's, so... Um... Okay. Uh, X V I I I. Oh, there's lots of X's. There it is. X V I I I. Okay, so okay, there's that one. All right, cool. Um, 
XII. It was XII. Do we already have XII though? XXII. Okay. II. Okay, X, X, I, I. So you go there. Okay, now I'm having a little bit of a hard time seeing them. I, I. Uh, let's ignore one for right now. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. X, V, I, I, I. Okay, so uh, the only one that has that is this one. Okay, cool. Uh, the fool has a zero, so let's just ignore that for right now. Have fun throwing numerals. Eh, it's all good. I'm not the best at them, but I, I, I kind of know them. Hangman had... I can't read Hangman from here. I can't read Hangman from here. So let's just back up a little bit. Okay, so we got those two. And, uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay, XII. Okay, so if we took out that one, we took out that one. That's a T. That's XXII. XII. Okay, it could be the top right. It could be top right. Okay. XII. I, I. Mm. See, there's multiple that have I, I. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, nope, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The one that, the one that has I, I and no other ones is right there. Okay, so then we have X, I, I versus X, X, I, I. And then we have the Fuel. I have no idea where the fuel goes. I already use that one. That one has two O's. So. Dang. Um, X, X, I, I. Oh, there's X, X, Oh, but this one also has X, X, I, I. This one also has X, X, I, I. Oh, sorry. Um, so an also has X, X, I, I. Okay, how about that? Okay. Uh, this one also has O's. Nope. Uh, just gotta take my little mouse pointer. And... Ha! Okay. Um, this one has. What do you have? Is there a way I can like view your ass? The X V I I I. Well, there's only one that has X V I I I. So it strikes me that there's only one with X V I I. So that should be that one. Okay. Technology. Set as wallpaper. No. Um. Okay. So what is the what is the? Hey, I want to look at it. I want. I want to. I want to. I want. I want to. I want to look at that one. Oh shit. Uh, X I I. We're looking for spots that only have X I I. Um. There's that one. Because that has X V I I. So it strikes me at that. Are also Roman numerals. We don't want. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. You were I I, but N G O E. Well, they're fine. Okay, so then we got to get rid of you. So you got to be in one that doesn't have any C's. Okay, so it's this one. Okay, cool. Uh, it's this one. Oh. Okay, I'm missing something. Um, cause 
okay, look at knee pad. Uh, look at a number pad. Uh, we're just gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Spots one and the spots four, eight, and nine all have C's or an M in them, right? And if we're going off the Roman numerals that we have, so that's why we want to avoid those. And then you have X A A J I I. I don't think J is one, which is why I was like the fool should be here or here, but it's not. Um, there's only one spot with. There's only one spot with X V I I I. It's that one. There's only one spot with only X I I. Then there's X X I I. So hang on, hang on. What if I? What if I? What if I do this? And then what if I'm like? Nope. Uh. Fiddly. By that logic, I feel like this should be the answer. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that should be the answer. All right, I'm down for a hint. What, what am I missing? What, what am I? What am I missing here? What am I missing? There's, there's, there's something I'm missing, right? There's something I'm missing. Also, red wrist. You said water color. File says water color. Water color max. Is that really a water color, or like a picture with a water color filter? I'm confused. Alright, what am I what am I what am I missing here? I'll, I will I will gladly take a hint. Cause if this is the hotel, we are like right at the end, so I wanna finish this tonight. Okay. Like, okay, I guess I guess the logic that I would have is that um hold on. The logic that I would have is if like you say M or C are also Roman numerals, I would want to avoid them because they don't match with the X, the V's, and the I's I'm going for. Which is why I'm thinking four, eight, and nine are off limits, because they have X's and C's. I'm sorry, because they have M's and C's. That's why there's only one spot with I, I. There's only one spot with... There's only one spot with X. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, hold on. There we go. That's it. That's it right there. Yep, that's it right there. I put the XII in a spot that had XVII, so. Right, XII. Hey! I misread a point. I'm clever. Thank you for the hint with the MNC, I really appreciate it. Oh, sorry, Molly, I've slammed my phone on my desk. Yeah, I tried to do a water code filter to you by scrapping it, but it didn't turn out as nice, so I'll probably just make you a Porygon set, like you mentioned. Like I said, you don't have to. I, I appreciate the thought, but you do not have to. Let's go fucking shoot God. Let's fucking shoot God. I'm very impressed with it, though. It does look really cool. Although, you chose a position that makes you look like a big old grump. I should probably say, nah. I went the wrong way. I, I got turned around. Oh. Oh, there we go. I got turned around. Shit. I got turned around again. Let's go fucking shoot Satan. I'm suddenly less. 
comfortable with being here. When you're out of the depths of hell. What do I want? What my damn well, cheeseburger? For the two of you to die. That'd be nice. Hey, I'm not- Then I could relax. I'm not affiliated with her. When did you stop believing in God? I'm not affiliated. I don't want to die. God lives. Just look around you. This is hell. Oh, but I do believe in her. In my own way. This is hell. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? I mean, just like Alessa 17 years ago? Okay, I know the animations are if perfect. If this really is the this work of God, really then I'd say she has terrible taste. That is true. Lots of rust and blood. Fuck you. You mock God. The God took your eyebrows. Traitor. You will go to hell. You're coming with Not me. that again! Because God took your eyebrows that you're mad, isn't it? Who do you think you are claiming to know God's will? Wait a second, is that the church from the beginning? Do we loop back? Go home, no, Vincent. No, we didn't, okay. Home? Hey, wait, it's a squatty potty! This Hi. church is my home. I built it with my power. And her shoes, what? The power of money that oh, they took you shoes. with such scorn. It's it's God Squatty Potty. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. This fucking If you continue to get in my way, then you'll kill me. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> Hi. Well, the guest of honor has arrived. Shotgun. <laughs> Let's get this party started. What happens if I just Heather. start shooting you? Go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. Why couldn't I kill her before? You'll go to hell! <laughs> Sorry! Just idea. You'll go to hell! Ah, oh, he, he tickled me. Oh, my back. Oh, my side. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, nothing important. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. If she doesn't have shoes, and she's run. walking on bloody, rusty floor. I guess this is the end. Oh, no, my goodness. Her the feet. beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Oh, he's dead as shit, isn't he? Alessa, I am saddened that you didn't agree to do this on your own. Fuck you, let's go. But I thank you for nurturing God with it's all so the silly, hate tradition. in your heart. Oh. It's probably silly compared to the original, but it's I still think it's good, time for mankind you know? to be I'm released happy. from the shackles of sin which bind them. I'm happy. But a god born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Look at this spitting philosophy. Happy people can be so cruel. That is also factually correct. Is it so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering? No, that makes sense. I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. Why do you reject God's mercy? You just stabbed a man. Why do you cling to this corrupt world? Because their souls save it. You know that only God can save us. God did not make all this shit in this book, dude. And save you too? A happy ending? I'd rather go to hell. Aha! No. I don't expect to be saved. Fuck you. And that's fine. I'm shooting you so hard. Alessa, my dearest. Don't fucking talk to me like that. For the pain that I've caused you, I deserve no mercy. Even if it was to save mankind, it was too deep a sin. Now you're just saying shit to justify your own horrible actions. It action. was hubris for me to try to hasten the day of her arrival. Nah, probably not. I mean, it looked like it worked. I mean, I did shoot Sacrifices me. were made. And those are my sins. 
I don't. Hey, do you need a do you need a doc? If you feel so guilty about it, why don't you go to hell? Good work, Vincent. Heather, use the seal. Vincent. Vincent, I stabbed you in the back, and you're laying on your back. Oh my goodness, Vincent, you're letting the blood out. The seal of Metatron. What a dumb name. Now your stupid dream is over. <laughs> oh, that's just a piece of junk. Then why'd you say it that way? What do you think you can do with that? I use my cell phone. Do you really think it can kill God? Let me just fuck up the camera. I'm sorry to see you <laughs> fell for my father's I, I foolishness. What? I stopped saying that. You're pathetic. Shooter. <laughs> Why don't I... <laughs> Guess I'm just letting that shit happen. Ha! Now you have a weapon! Bitch! <laughs> Oh my shoot But God loves even you. Shoot shooter. Shooter. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. No, Alessa. There's nowhere else to run. I have been running. Uh, oh fuck uh, you. Oh no. Uh, oh god. Oh, what's going on? Oh no, get your brain bullshit out of here. Lighter. Just accept it, Alessa. I will kick your the ass. Pain will disappear. I've been waiting so long for this. I really would like to know why I. As a child, I knew I would see the coming of this day. I knew I would be a witness to it. Judgment day. That's it. I'm getting up and I'm fucking you up. She's looking around like, uh, wait, uh. Alyssa! I don't know what that was, but that was not pleasant. I'm gonna puke, real quick. Shut your mouth, you stinking bitch! Okay, the subtitles once again, but you know what? Um... She's not, um... 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 I don't really know what I just did. I just did it I don't, uh, as a whim. I, I don't, um, did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? I, I don't, um, did I mess up? What are you doing? I just did that without even thinking. Dad. Um, did I just put it in my mouth? Did I fuck up? <laughs> Um. She is nearly here. Man, I was joking about the puking part. Did I just take a cyanide pill? Um. What is it? Alessa, what have you done? What did you swallow? That is an excellent. Oh, wait, shit, that red stuff. Oh my goodness, I puked a baby. This. Shit over here. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Well, it's just like I fired once and she did nothing. That's why I was like, Looks like God didn't make it. I puked. <laughs> oh, God, I'm having flashbacks to Bloodborne. 
Claudia! People had made part of that. All right, now I'm gonna shoot a uh, shooter, right? Alessa, you cannot kill God. I will. Uh, I will. Burn That's God. not how the birds and the bees work. If you can't do it, Alessa, I, I will. Is you gonna just poop out a baby? <laughs> I have done it. It's a miracle. Claudia! I, 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 I did it. I have now given birth. I, I am not out of the They really like that blood effect. So what, what would have happened if I just shot her? Because that was my first instinct to be like, bitch! Just right back. Oh my goodness. The squatty potty of the gods is the is a bir is a birthing hole. It's a birthing. Oh my goodness! We are witnessing childbirth. I don't like it. Um, we uh, you would have died. Did oh good. I don't know what just happened there, but all I know is the squatty potty. Man, I, I need some water or something, okay? I just really... Well, shit, what do you think about this? Vincent's gone! Well, shit. Well, thank you for telling me that. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> Into a woman's birth hole. Uh, the squatty pie turned into the goo, and I never want to say that sentence again. Oh, shit. Oh, look, it's a metaphorical boo boo. Here we go. Here we go. Wee. Anyways, I have a lot of shotgun rounds. That's not true, actually, but I have enough for you. What the fuck is this? What the fuck are you? I hate you. What in the what in what the oh oh I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh go oh, okay. Okay. Oh that's her body. That's her clothes. Oh my gosh, she's been raptured. You can't be dead. Oh. I was gonna kill you. Well, you know, actually, no, the deed's done. I'm okay with this now. I have inner peace. She is dead. This is God? What? Man, God's an ugly son of a bitch. Man, you're you really are an ugly. You really are an ugly son of a bitch, aren't you? Let me freaking look at you. You got like a pal oh my Oh god! Oh I'm suddenly re hey it looks like Alessa, would you look at that? Damn it, are you sure I can't use that? This strikes me as the perfect opportunity that if this could work, okay it doesn't work. But you wanna know what always works? The power of God in anime and the shotgun. Bitch! Ow! Okay, that's fair. Better healing. Oh, bitch. Yeah. Bitch. Ooh, the fire's start, starting to actually fall around a little bit. Bitch. Hey, get you those swip, swip, swip of hands out of here, motherfucker. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta reload. I gotta reload. My apologies, you know. It happens with that bitch. And then I get out of the way so she can't swip me and I go bitch. Then I get out of the way of the fire. And I go, bitch. Then she comes back down, I go, bitch. And she strips me because I couldn't get away fast enough. And then I go, oh shit, I'm hurt. That's okay, and I have a node in my gun. And then I, I, look, I equip this just for a second because I think it's going to be funny. And then I go, 
Wait, no, sorry. I was gonna say, am I out of healing items? I am not. And I go, oh no. That did not fit well done. I'm, I'm a genius. All right, uh, I'm gonna use the power of God and anime in a second. There you go, okay, cool. I'm gonna get out of the way so she can't sit. That, get the black Ow, okay, uh, the fire moved in on me. I did not think we'd do that. Okay, uh, that. Nope, uh, okay, just gonna keep moving because it's not used to following me. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm out of ammo. I'm, I'm out of ammo. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Now prepare. The power of God in anime. Motherfucker! Lock! Oh. Motherfucker! Ow. Well, it was funny. So I think it, it was worth doing that if for no other reason than I thought it was funny. Anyway, I have a gun. <laughs> anyway, I have a gun. So. A gun that I can shoot while I'm moving, motherfucker! Didn't expect this shit to jump, bitch! Straight and move. Look at this excellent pistol control. You can't do shit about this. Oh my goodness. And guess how much ammo I have? A hundred rounds. Just for you. Yes, I'm out of But it's fine. She could do shit about me if she wanted to. Ow. Alright, that hurt a little bit. But really, I'm fine. I can do Motherfucker! Look at you! I'm trying to think you're so cool with your porcelain mask and shit. Your bone skin that's not really bone skin. I think I'll close the back to make this run for but whatever it's fine. What are you gonna do about this? That's right, nothing. My scraping skills, they're too good for you. I will sit here and I will talk an endless amount of shit until you do otherwise. Get fucking right. I am the best. I I have once again shot God. I have slain him. I'm gonna pop a magazine in you just to be sure. Kick. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> yep, this is perfect. This is just as God intended. I'm gonna stab it with a katana. Grab the mold. Break its skull in. I think that went really well! Honestly. I'm so glad I somehow the birthed the baby out of my mouth. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. I guess it's time to roll the credits. Nice. <laughs> Wait, am, I, am I crying or something wrong? <laughs> yeah, honestly. Honestly, I okay. I'm not blaming her for crying. I'm. I'm I was more concerned that something else was wrong. <laughs> God prom. I, I think I missed a joke there, I'm sorry. Yeah, all that sadness hitting now. I get it. I get it. It's fine. Let it out. All I would all I basically ask is let's get Douglas, let's get in a car, let's get a burger. And then we'll we'll talk this out. You know, it it's okay to cry. Pop a few more rounds in that just to be safe though, but Pop a few more rounds in that body just to be safe. Claudia ate it. Oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Thank goodness this place isn't fucked up anymore. Where the fuck is Douglas? No, I got, I got it. It's just I'm, I'm not used to the word prawn. That's all. It did look like a prom, though, now that you say it. it. Yeah. I can't believe A, I coughed that up, and B, she coughed. She, uh, a, I coughed that up, and B, she's like, give me that shit. <sighs> like, deep. Oh, God. That, that, that fell almost pornographic. Hey, you got yourself on a chair. Good stuff. Seriously, what broke your leg? Seriously, what broke your leg? You need to tell me. Heather. Hey, big guy. 
Is it really over? I think so. Not yet. It isn't? You're still alive. What the fuck? Heather. What the what fuck? The, what are you... Boo! Oh. <laughs> Just oh. a joke. <laughs> he has a gun! Don't make that joke! Yeah. Terrible taste. I'm sorry. <laughs> he has a gun! Heather. Did you... You don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. I like being called Heather. You want me to use your real name? See, I don't like that real name because oh, I'm not associated with that Cheryl. person. Cheryl. The name my father gave me. You gonna let your hair color go back too? Hmm, I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? I think it looks real nice on you personally, but that's just me. And by you, I mean me. If I get to choose between that, I... Well, I always like the long time. But seriously, he has a gun. Don't make that kind of a joke. If anything, I would tell him after the fact. Just be like, you know, I was considering going like you, but I, I knew you would shout me, so. You know. The song! Oh, it's the song! It's so fucking scary. I love it. That's it. Hey. 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 hey! hey! We did it! That was fun! That, that was fun at the end, yeah. Though could have just put a cap in Heather right then there. That's what I mean! If I was like, you're still alive, he would have been like, well, fuck my life. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I have to use the controller. I have to use the controller. He's like, well, fuck my life, I guess. Pa, 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 pa. Oh, she's still breathing. Pa, 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 pa. Like, yeah, she could have shot. He could have shot her. You don't make that kind of joke. Like, really, he should have been like, ah. Uh... It's like, oh, you have a gun. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. But. Okay, let's turn, let's turn the volume down a little bit. Because I imagine it's a little loud for you guys. I'm gonna turn it down from 70 to 50. I'm gonna turn it down from 70 to 50 for it. It just looks a little quieter. So I guess the question I... Yep, well, we will. We will watch all the endings once the credits roll. I will, I will flip to my computer screen. We'll do that real quick. But, um... I guess something like Another World Evil Effect Program. What a great name. But, um... The UFO ending is great. Okay, so I guess... Now that the game's over, we can kind of, like, we can figure out some lore and stuff, right? So, I said at the end, my real name is Cheryl. Now, remind me again, in case I have this wrong. So, Alessa had the baby. They tried to make her have the baby, but she wasn't strong enough. She broke off into two, and somehow, one part of her soul was still with her, and one part of her soul got into my child somehow. And then they tried to smush them together and have a baby, and it didn't work, and then... It kind of broke off, and the one side was like, take this kid, and Harry took it and raised it as Heather, which is why there's a constant Alessa, Cheryl, Heather, they were all the same thing, because really it was only two people, which really was one person, right? So why did I decide that I was Cheryl if I'm the full, complete version? And also, he said, are you going to let your hair grow back to its normal color now? And I said, don't you think blondes have more fun? So is it hair dyed, or do I have magical control over it? Because they kept saying I have powers, and we have seen none of our powers. So is one of them like a physical appearance and control? Cheryl's the good half of less that split off. Okay. That, why did Cheryl become Harry Mason's daughter? Like straight up, why? I, I think, I think you may have explained that before, but I completely forgot. I'm Maybe if you brought the end of the soul rejoin, she had to give another chance. And it split off because she was too weak. Right? Heather's Heather. Is Heather Really, I think, okay, I know it's a remake and it's put off to protect herself from her hatred. Ah! I think. 
but okay, so that that's what happened, and then he's like, I want a reborn god, get your ass back, or you're having a baby. Okay, so how'd the thing get in me? How'd the thing get in me initially? Because that's the that's the next question. I have. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah, how would, how, uh, how, how did, how did, how, how did, how did, how did it get in me initially? That is part of her power. That I just, she rebirths herself. Heather's hair is dark like Lessons and Cheryl's, but I think she died to make her identity, dif identity different. Okay, cool, so it is died normally. She is God and the mother and the child, three in one, maybe due to Harry's advice. Probably. Yeah, okay. That, I, I'll buy that. And that is part of her bow. Oh, wait, hold on. So is it a thing of like she's born and then she births herself and then herself is like the true god kind of a thing? But if it doesn't work, she has to be born again and then she has to bear the child who is the true god. So it's like this like two stage kind of a deal. Is that what it is? What it is? I feel like that's I'm normal, I promise. Really, a joke in poor taste. He could have shot you. Alright, uh... So, three out of five stars. Action level normal, riddle level hard, clear time, six and a half hours. Split worm kill time. Missionary kill time. Wait, okay, well, the split worm was the... What was the missionary? What was the... What was the missionary? Oh, that thing. Uh, okay. Leonard kill time. Super. The god kill time. Memory of Lessa kill time. Let's be honest, that one took longer because I was playing with her. You know what I mean? The, I, I was playing with her. I was being silly. I was like, oh, you have a knife? Then I'm going to have a knife. I was going to match her, and then she pulled a gun. I was like, well, fuck this. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Was what killed Harry. Yep. All right. The god kill time. So I assume that was god's clear number. Oh, oh, clear number one. Four. Oh, I'm sorry, no say. Oh, come on. Item number. So I assume that's really good if they're all glowing. Defeated. What? Total damage. Well, I wasn't trying to kill everything. Two. Well, I was exploring. So I guess two minutes is the magic number. Now screw you. Okay, maybe they have, they have different bars. That's fun though. And then full rank, I get, what is that, 12? Cool. That's, that's extra new game has been added to start screen. Okay, play from there to see and enjoy extra features. Starting from new game, we'll begin a new game without the extra features. You fulfilled the conditions for the hand weapon flamethrower! And as fast as you can get it, you can you. Happy birthday. What? I, I assume I need to save over this, right? To get like 10 costumes. What? That's fun. All right, we won't actually go in the game and do that. We will. Can I see what it is? Uh, nah, nah, nah. Well, okay. Well, we should I do it, and will it tell me what it is, or should we like we we can Google it, right? Uh, okay, I'll, actually, don't no, hold on. Oh shit. Uh, hang, hang on, hang, hang on, hang. Let's just this is real quick. Uh, there's more costumes in the PS2 version. Well, that's a shame. I understand why it's a mouse, but I hate this. It's too slow. PC master race all the way. You got a Heather shirt. That's fun. That's a good time. Yeah, Google codes didn't fill them in. Oh, just. Sure, yeah. Silent Hill 
free. Actually, no, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's, real quick, my tongue is a little bit. There we go. Okay. Enter gangster girl. We'll, we'll, we'll Google it. We'll Google So, oh, wait, hold on. The princess heart and the lightning one. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let, 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 give me, give me, give me just a second. Give me, give me just a second. We're gonna, we're gonna shut down the PS3 and then I'm gonna get to the, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to the desktop screen and then we'll be able to actually like Google everything and like be silly and have fun with it. You know what I mean? Uh, hold on. Let me just shut down the PS3. It is that time for me. Okay, cool. And da, 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 da. see, I have it on the camera mode right now. So that way you don't accidentally see my screen as I'm like fiddling with it. So give me, give me just a second. Give me just a second, super quick. You look up Heather Beam and Sexy Beam Shooter, I said you. We will, we will. We'll look it up. We'll look up stuff. We'll look up stuff. Don't, 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 don't you, don't, 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 Oops. Um, display capture. Don't do this to me. Ah, it's doing it to me, son of a bitch. It, it's doing the thing where it doesn't know which, um, it's, do, it's doing the thing again where it doesn't know how many monitors there are, so it's getting a little confused. It's getting just a little confused on me, and that's okay. Nope, it's still doing it. Alright, so we're going to have to work off a slightly smaller screen. I apologize. But I think it's going to be okay. There's, let's be honest, there's going to be very little difference. Uh, transform. Let's do fit to screen. There we go. All right, so. All right, so first, gonna do the same thing I did with Silent. Actually, wait, hold on. Um, ba, 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 ba. Uh, Silent Hill Three main thing. Yep. You're not here. Silent Three intro. Save theme. Sure. Tell me if that's too loud or too quiet. All right, Silent Hill Three wiki. Let's do this. Let's take a look. See, that I, I, I. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I I really like, I really like this. Um, I I, li I like this part when we did Silent Hill, one and two. Uh, secrets. And then pushing L three. Uh, what? Uh, simply fall down a hole and Heather will wake her night as if she was killed by the Lord Crystal. Apparently, all the seeds from some diner dream. Oh. Of the Bottega's reused model of Angela Horosco. Who's Angela Horosco? Oh shit! Oh, that's awful! Oh my goodness! I I still I'm so sad about Angela. Um, if Heather before the shift to the knock the door, so knocks back. Plan for the Heather will say that someone is inside. That we were knocked out. However, after the shift, Heather can knock on the door once again. And someone like her, she knocks away for the all three with nothing but large files spider in her. Okay. Uh, to a red Pac-Man, uh, inside the employee, both in the turntile, there's a line figure scene from the second game. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, that shit was, that shit right here, that was scary. I love that. That was freaky as all get out. Uh, a banner weapon, she'll find a silencer and a pair of legs. Was that the one that I tried breaking and, and it didn't work? Uh, according to the brightest strategy, the corpse behind the wall is supposed to be a cameo of Solid Snake from the Metal Gear. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's that's good. Um, most of those are probably in one color the two screens. Heather's screen. Okay, we, we should go to the we should go to the costumes. Sorry, I love reading the references things. Nah, it's all good, Red Wrist. You gotta take care of what you gotta take care of. You didn't hit enough times? Ah. Whoa. There's a lot. Okay, so... Blockhead, Don't Touch, God of Thunder. Ah, I think that's kind of cool, all right? Heather. Heather. Oh, you have one of yourself. Killer Rabbit. Okay, that was something that bugged me. We never ran into the ki Were there ever killer rabbits? Because, like, okay, okay. When I looked up Silent Hill 3 desktop background, right? Which I use, which I'm going to use to make the, um, the images or whatever for this playthrough, right? They show this. They show a little girl, who I assume is Cheryl, and they show the, 
Well, the bunnies were never a thing? Why, why were the bunnies never a thing? Also, why am I... I'm gonna see this, huh? I don't know what's up with that. It's kind of creepy. Actually, wait, hold on. Is that like... Alright, uh, the green ones are PS2 exclusive. Oh. Right, he's one of the four mascots. We'll, we'll look in this one in a second. He's one of the four mascots, but, like, it, it was never a thing. He was never an enemy, right? I thought he was going to be, like, a boss or something. Uh, EGM, Game Informer. That's fun, though. The Game Spy. That, that is fun. I like that. GMR. I don't know what that is. Uh, Douglas Inboxers. Uh, like the other games would be able to attain a highlight of extreme, uh, which is difficult through the PC version and upon entry will sigh. Maria will sigh sensually once the player chooses the difficulty level. The code above is called the Konami Cup. Oh my gosh, it is Konami Cup. Alright, I want to see if we can just play this real quick. Kind of skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, I guess I was. Okay. My name is Douglas. Nice talking to you. Let's, uh, oh, that's the last one. Hold on. There's someone. Oh, yeah, it's kind of cute. Alright, so what is this? The, the heather. Okay, let's, let's just play this right now. Hold on, let's uh, mute that. Let's see if we can make this any bigger. We cannot. I think I, I think you had me watch this at the, at the end of Silent Hill 2, and I just got super confused. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, Alright, is a special lock only required after Dean defeating at least 333 monsters? As there aren't as many monsters in one playthrough, this can only be achieved through multiple games. The Heather Beam is not a potential weapon and can only be used when no other weapon is equipped. The Heather Beam has two attacks. The first is polygonal for Dark Valor, which is as well as the attack that my own. Another quality apart from health that can be seen with the health bar. Right, so we never really learned about the, um, about the stamina bar, you know what I mean? The Heather Beam. Oh my goodness. So I guess this is what it, the game was talking about when it's like your superpowers, right? That's fun, right? Your, that's your superpowers kicking in. Unlimited submachine gun. With the, while also defeating the final boss with a melee weapon. So you start the time rather than the final blow. Really. Heather will find on top of something like that. Oh, we have to climb out of the lake. Uh, decreases the player's final score. There's a health bar you can unlock too. Damn it! I want a stamina bar. Alright, uh, the counter part of the beam saber. What? It can only be received after being in the game at least once after the mostly through the use of firearms. It looks like the machine gun is such a weak However, after achieving perfect break, it's high card speed please. Um. What? Wait, hold on. Uh, what the fuck? After being the game at least once, Heather can receive the gold and silver pipe. So just Heather must kill the creature in the sewer with the hair dryer, examine the water, and throw the steel pipe into it. After doing so, the sewer fairy will appear and ask Heather questions. The player should answer. Honestly, she will reward Heather with both gold and silver pipes. Both have no redeeming value other than being Easter eggs, as they are no different from steel pipes with the exception of color paint. Um. Uh, with some quick cash. A truly honest man, despite the fact that she's female. So, man. Uh, oh, the uh, former Max didn't drop his axe in the lake when the axe could offer him silver. He told the truth that his axe is simply normal. The screw warned him all three for his honesty. Alright, well, I'm curious. I really hope everyone enjoys us looking through this. I think this is fun. Like, you know, now that we're done with the game, let's, let's rip it open. Let's spoiler it up, you know what I mean? What was it that you dropped? Was it this precious gold pipe? Well, was it this magnificent silver pipe? Perhaps it was only this filthy steel pipe that you dropped. See, there's lots of weird secrets in this game. I love it. I, I think these secrets are great. 
Okay. I feel the same way about it that I... Let's see, and then it's just... Oh, okay. Was it this precious gold pipe? You are a liar! I have nothing to give to you! Shit. But like, okay, I think I talked about this before. Just like how I love the weird details that you guys pointed out to me that's like, oh, the, what you want to call it? Um, how there's like side aesthetic horrors that don't do anything, they're just there to freak you out. I love that shit. And for the same reason, I love this shit. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, so those are the weapons and stuff. You have Douglas and Boxers. Okay, so... Let's see, uh, in the construction site, okay, we all got that one, uh, fights the insane cancer, what's the insane, oh, that's, that is shit, in the room with the portal, it will speak Japanese or a black voice, how to respond in Japanese or attack or kill, and if I swing some she makes a comical war cry, um, interesting, uh, notes, Notes on additional cycles the player commits, so the player takes the time to read the diaries. The handmade doll seems to follow Heather throughout her exploration of the hospital. That, we did that. Yep, we did that. On the cover, SH Times Magazine, Room S1, an image of Maria on the TV scene. Shit. Maria still creeps me out. Like, she genuinely freaks me out. Uh, in the, there's a storm containing a very large mirror. As soon as, yep, this is the mirror scene. Yep. Yep. Red glow and spread over. Should Heather remain while the room for plenty time and potential for one killer? It seems to be that Heather's spectrophobia manifests itself here. It could be foreshadowed in the memory of less the scenes of the image of Heather in the period of the Necron. This is a birthday card for Heather. However, the text for Claudius said we would be all birthday. Unlockables. Uh, their text stream modes to complete one extreme mode unlock a new harder difficulty mode. What? It's fun. Let's see, there'll be uh, a dead wife. Uh, poster appears Angela Roscoe. Right next to the sun. Analyze closely. Ooh. Well, that's fun. I like that. All right, so now we need to look up the goods. Then we gotta look up the goods. Endings. All endings with instructions. I'll just do all that. All right, so we got the normal ending, right? Wait, what? This isn't all endings. I thought you said there's a UFO ending. Revenge ending, possessed ending, right? Name my father. You gonna let your hair color go back too? Is this the original voice? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? Okay, so. Oh, I, wait, I, that's right, hold on, real quick, real quick. Uh, let me, let me pull up in a different window so we can see how to do these endings. Oops. I'm trying to get my... Okay, so, sorry, real quick before we continue with this. So, normal. Heather returns to the amusement park no longer in the other world. She acts very strangely. She approaches Douglas. She wields a knife and sees some response. The fact is, if she's about to kill Douglas, but suddenly stops and tells him she was just playing a joke. Douglas makes a comment on how she has two sense of humor. She ends up that Douglas calls Cheryl, which is the name her father originally gave to her. Douglas then asks if she's also considered back to originally, to which she replies, oh, This is the canon ending due to a mention of Douglas surviving and exposing the cult in Silent Hill Homecoming. Okay, possess. Uh, it doesn't, it's not telling me how. It's not, it's not telling me how to get it, though. Um, yeah, how do you, possess, Heather's, okay, well, I guess we'll just watch it. Uh, this may allude to Claudia's prophecy, which said that Heather would lead believers to paradise with bloodstained hands against possess. There it is. 
To get the possessed ending, the player must have already finished the game at least once and Heather accumulate a certain number of points throughout the second attempt. Points are accumulated through killing creatures. Ten points each. Taking I'm home, Dad. What? Alright, uh accumulating through killing creatures, ten points each. Taking damage, one point, and forgiving the confessor, a thousand points. The players must accumulate four thousand points to receive this ending. That's what you meant. Okay, what was up with the confessor? What was up with Uh Repenting for her sin of murder as an act of revenge for her own daughter being killed. She's very strong to please forgive and seems sincere and cries throughout the confession. If on the this it should say I forgive you or to remain silently. If Heather examines the confession booth again, Heather will comment there's nothing more to be said. There isn't a clear right or wrong choice. If Heather forgives her, then Heather is acting as someone who she isn't, God, and is forgiving a wicked act of revenge, which apparently killed a girl. Yeah, but that's what the confession is supposed to be for. She's saying she's sorry, and God is supposed to... If Heather does not forgive her, then she is not easing the confessor's feeling of intense guilt and sorrow. Why would that make you possessed? Well, I guess that's because you're trying to assume being God. Why would that... Okay. Forgive the confessor's self towards her in the possessed ending in which Heather kills Douglas Cartland in revenge. Okay, so what else happens in the revenge? Like, what else happens in the revenge... The, the possessed ending? Like, do you... Do you, like, walk... Okay, when, um... When she stabs Vincent... What, do you, like, take the knife and you're like, yes, I will birth God? And, like, is there another scene or what happens? What else happens? All right. Uh, it may be a voice of Dahlia or Claudia, but their voices are different. Let's see. That's it. Uh, well, presumably you would then birth God or whatever, right? Uh... Perhaps part of Dahlia's soul to split remaining in the other, other world for 17 years. Had a lot less done with them than the first two. But I want to see... I, okay, I... When I say I want to... I want to see... I want to see God be birthed. It's not me saying... I For pervy reasons. But it's like, I want to see what happens. What happens when they win? But anyway. Listen. Something crazy is going on. Shut up! Shut up! What happened? Well, it's like this. And that's about it. I can't believe that. I'm going to Silent Hill, and I'm gonna bust some heads. Oh, Dad, you're the coolest! I thought the alien was talking, not the dad. Just light up the fucking town. Just fuck this. Fuck the town. All of it. Burnt, light it all up. That's fun. <laughs> Aren't you sick and tired of the old UFO? Man? What the? Because they didn't want to get sued. Yosh! Go oh, Nana, that is five and seven, yeah. Let's see, uh, the alien, uh, Okay, that didn't quite. Okay, that, that didn't quite jive, but. Alright, fine. Let's see. Um. Uh... 
This ending cannot be part of the first playthrough and requires the player to kill at least 31 monsters with the Heather being the second being before entering Heather's apartment. Also, when entering Heather's apartment, Heather must not have any weapon equipped or Heather being is currently active. So, you know, Vincent, 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 if you Once again, this is bad rhythm in. I should put, I should put look at, at um, trivia. Drunk? <laughs> Anyways, we're not looking at Silent Hill 4, the room all endings. Oh, look, it's my boy, Solid Snake. All right, let me let me turn this back on. So I guess we should get final thoughts on the game. Um, it, Actually, wait, hold on. First, is there anything else we need to Google? Anything else we need to, like, look up and be like, oh, but what about blah, 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 blah. Like, anything else? So I think we're pretty much good. I think we got everything. Cause, just, wow. Okay, so. So, thoughts on this game, like I said, I have a hard time judging games when it comes to, um, like, nailing differences, you know what I mean? I'm very much someone who judges everything as a group, as opposed to individual, but I think, I think this game was great, um, the combat, no? That's it? Okay, cool. I, okay, I would say the combat felt so much better, but that was also because we turned it to 3D mode, so I wasn't using tank controls, so it was so much happier. The only thing you haven't seen was, uh, Valtiel dragging her way on death. Yeah, let's look that up, let's look that up, let's look that up, let's look that up. Val, or wait, uh, the Silent Hill 3, Valtiel dragging. Uh, Valtiel drag, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck is this thing? I don't think that was... I, you guys mentioned it. You said he was like a guardian angel? They're all just different versions of him dragging them away. Okay, you said Valtiel was a guardian angel or something? I still don't understand that.
Like, what in the world? I'm guessing I have to watch this to be like, what the fuck is he? Because that makes no freaking what the fuck. That's horrifying. Because that made no freaking sense. Like, what in the world was that thing? And, like, I know you're talking about, like, oh, the two sets of legs. That's supposed to be Cheryl and Alessa. And he's doing something to them and torturing them. But who knows what? But, um, I'm trying to think of my thoughts just overall. I did love the mirror scene. The mirror scene was fantastic. Uh, if you die in certain sections of the game, Volatil will kidnap you so Heather can, like, birth, uh, can, like, birth God and Claudia will fill the test. So, Valtiel was, like, a spirit working for Claudia towards that goal. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, yawning still. Um, I don't know. Thoughts overall. They, I think they may have handed me too many weapons at some points. I had a lot of different melee weapons that all basically did the same thing, but also a lot of them were easy to miss, so it makes sense. Um, look up the death scenes for Heather. That's what we, I thought that's what we just did. Like, is there, is, is there, is there other ones? Like, Silent Hill 3, Heather, death scene. Game over, Silent Hill 3. Is that what we just saw? What? Truman head with next. Is that what we just oops I don't know. Is that what we just watched? Cause yeah, like you said, drag it away. Drag it away. So just for just for brevity's sake. So it's always her wait, hold on, what? So just for brevity's sake, because we should end the episode oh. soon. Ah. Jeez. Oh, that's right, this. And I freaked out and I immediately went back on. Yeah, I, I, I panicked. That's right, you can jump off of it. She has the most death suit of any sign of protagonist. I think that's right. Wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm just gonna move to you can not. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Okay. Yeah, that's right. This part, god, this part was freaking scary. Yeah. Spectrophobia. Listen, once again, we'll say Freddy. We'll skip ahead a little bit. No! Man, never send me to Silent Hill because the place is just going to be full of spiders. Right here's the train cleaner. I almost got that ending. So if you kill her, it just... Well, first one. Well, she takes a bullet like a champ, I guess. Bring us salvation. It's creepy as shit still. Super creepy. Yeah, I almost got that, okay? I'm sorry, it was my first instinct. I saw the scary thing, and the la the bad lady, so I shot her, okay? <laughs> she scared me, and I didn't like her. I wanted her fucking dead. Can you blame me? But, um... Sorry, final thoughts of the game. 
Uh, the combat felt so much better if you waited too long or tried to kill Claudia, yeah. Son of a bitch. But, um... The combat felt a lot better, but I think that's because we just did the 3D thing. While I was looking through the Silent Hill Reddit, I did, like, my eye kind of glimpsed on the reception thing, where it basically said a lot of people hate on this game because it didn't introduce anything new. I want to disagree with that a little bit. I think it did. I think there was a lot of really cool storytelling elements to it. But... I'm trying to think if there's any, like, specific moments that I was like, that's dumb, or like, this makes sense. Some of the Vincent parts were kind of weird. I'm a big fan of any, like, easily missable aesthetic horror things, you know what I mean? Uh, puking up the prawn was weird. I liked that there was new enemies, but I ran to the same thing that I did with the first two games. Uh, very quickly, I wish there was more enemies. Even if they do functionally the same thing, I just wish there was more kinds, more varieties. Because, you know, Silent Hill is supposed to be like a realm of horrors, if you will, or whatever. Right? I kind of want there to be more than that. Granted, I don't want giant spiders, so, you know, that's just me. Um, UI change was nice, I guess. It took a little bit to get used to, but it was nice. The puzzles were good. However, okay, so I, I don't want anyone to make fun of me for this, okay? I don't want anyone to make fun of me for this. I think in the future we're just going to have the puzzles to normal. Because there's there was a few times where I was like, this is the logical answer. This makes sense. And it wasn't it. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things that, like we could do it, but for expediency, let's just leave it at normal and normal. Maybe next time I'll up the difficulty to hard. You know what I mean? Uh, people complain how there was no big intimate leap like from 1 to 2 or 3 to 4. I mean, I guess, I guess the question that would come to my mind is, like, what, well, gameplay graphics-wise, it's, like, two. Well, I mean, it was made on the same system. It was, it was made on the same system, right? So that makes sense to me. Like, even between, okay, let's just, stop, let's just stop for a moment and think objectively, right? Even between one and two, what big gameplay and storytelling upgrades were there. Uh, you could block, sort of. That was it. Yeah, three's puzzles are harder on infamous. Even two's puzzles are harder, more logical. Okay, maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll go to hard on riddle. Uh, hard riddle on the fourth one. But um, yeah, some of those I was just like, I have the right answer, but it's wrong. The fuck. But um. But um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm trying to think, because now they're blending in my head together. The hangman scene where you had to choose the right one, that was in here, right? That was really cool. I like that. Or is that the second one? I don't remember. I think through I Yeah, this game was great. Oh, this game was great. I honestly don't know why 2 is like the love child that everyone thinks... Not love child. 2 is like, you know, the favorite child that everyone thinks is the best, while this one isn't. I just realized I can actually just look at you guys, and it's fine. I'm just used to looking at a screen, so I do. But, um, I thought this game was just as good. Like, really. Uh, the one thing I don't get is at the HD collection thing, on one side they show Pyramid Head, on one side they show the missionary. The missionary wasn't really a constant element. You know what I mean? I, I get it that they probably just wanted to put some kind of iconic monster there just so they could have something that mirrors Pyramid Head. But it was nowhere near as iconic because Pyramid was like a constant threat. That being said, I really didn't like how Pyramid Head sometimes was invincible and sometimes wasn't. Because the moment I knew he, wa he wasn't invincible, I assumed all other times he wasn't invincible. So I kind of wish they, like, I don't know, let him be stunned. So he's like, Ugh. and after a little bit he gets back up, then I would be like, oh, and I'd leave kind of thing. Or maybe if Jimmy said something along the lines of, like, that, like, that, you know, like, you shoot him a bunch, he gets stunned, and Jimmy says something along the lines of, like, of, like, that won't hold him for long. Well, yeah, Vautil is definitely more iconic, I would agree with that, but also, we don't really ever know what his deal is. He's just this thing that crawls around and, like, never directly interacts with us except for death scenes. Yeah, so... I mean, there's a part of me that's curious, like, if I should just Google what all the differences are. But I think, ultimately, I got, like, the core experience, so I'm okay with it. You know what I mean? Because I... Let's see. Uh, William Freeman. Pyramid Head is always invincible. There's that one boss fight. 
That was, that was like one of the first, like one of the earlier boss fights where like you shot him a bunch and then like the water level dropped and then he like went away. Because of that, I thought I could fight him. Because they locked me in a room and said fight him now, I thought I could fight him. That's why I was like, nah, fuck this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him on. But um, also oh, I'm I'm a cocky bastard sometimes. Like in a horror game, I will run away if need be, but the moment they give me a tool to fight back, I will use it. <laughs> Because it's like, nah, fuck you, I don't have to run! But, that's me, that's a me thing, I'll fully admit that. Um, still can't believe, Redwood, you have this tattooed on you. That is a really big, complicated symbol. I mean, God bless you for doing it. I hope it makes you happy, but jeez, that is complicated. I'm sorry, I hurt like a bitch. Yeah, you should definitely look up the difference between HD and original versions. Like, um, you think like we should look up the two cutscenes? Or, Silent Hill 3, uh, yeah, he left me, you can't hurt him. I, I want to hurt him. If I can fight, I will fight! <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see. What's a good... See, I'd want this kind of a deal. Maybe like this kind of a deal, but... Because you can like skip around with this. I'm kind of lost. I mean, okay, the PS2 version, that doesn't look fast. Hey. Oh, like I said, we're just gonna skip around. Shiva and Ifrit getting this, done from uh, sketch to full color in eight hours session this hurts. Town. Where's buddy? There's something. I imagine so. Oh, fuck. It's kind of That's hard right, to you didn't explain, tell me about that too. But is it dangerous? But that doesn't look Maybe. bad at all. And it's not just the fall. It's just. I still think that I the new I one really does look pretty care. good. I, I definitely get what you guys... I'm going I definitely get what you guys mean way. when you said, like, oh, they buggered up the fog effects and stuff. But I still why? think it looks good. I can be with her again. You know? Them either. I hope you find them. Let's see. Uh, I don't want a commentary. Yeah, just, just let's look at some graphics real quick. HD PS2. Really, I think they both look really good. Yeah, that looks great. Either way. I wish that was an enemy. At one... The first search was... Over. I wish at some point in time that thing was an enemy because they kept having it covered in blood his mouth was covered in blood. I'm sitting there like, holy shit, that's horrifying. Do we ever get to see what it is? No. Kind of wish we could have, you know? I mean... Oh, that is one thing. That's one thing I want to talk about. The sound mixing in this game was fucking awful. And it was like that in the second one. It was like that in, in two as well. That like the music was way too loud. And the stepping on like the, the metal floor was way too loud. And blah, 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 blah. I like that they changed the dogs. But I wish there was more enemy variety. It's an Espanola. Um, what were the other things? Nah, really, like... Okay, I know I know the website said a lot of people were like... A lot of people were like, Oh, the fucking... There's no big gameplay innovations. But honestly, I don't think this game... I don't think this game rides on its gameplay. I think this game rides on its ability to tell a story. It's atmospheric horror. The feeling of unease. I will still have to play... If you guys had to ask me what were some of my favorite moments in Silent Hill. Yeah, and they screwed up the fog, too. Yep, yep, like I said, they screwed up the fog. If I had to talk about some of my favorite moments so far with the Silent Hill games, definitely the, um... Apologies. The moment where I was looking in the hallway and Pyramid Head was behind those bars. That was horrifying. And then when I left him, he was gone. That was chilling. And I'm sure I ran into moments like that like that in this game too. I'm just kind of, you know, at the end of the series, it's always kind of hard to point at moments because it all just happened. There's a place with Comic Sans, the truest horror of all. <laughs> Let's skip a little bit. It's a little jarring that's not one for one, but also it's gameplay, so it makes sense. They both look great. I don't see a problem with it at all. I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. Well, okay, now having voice at the same time, it's a little confusing. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. 
My dad. My dad. My dad told me not to talk. My dad. Sorry, I don't know why it's funny to me. The mi yeah, the mirror room was wonderful. I love that. Um, like you said, seeing the weird things in the background with like Lisa's face. Okay, this game had a love affair with that blood effect of the blood of like crawling up something. However, I really couldn't tell if the blood was moving like a tendril or if it was raining or if it was dripping. You know what I mean? Like, I think the way it's programmed, it must be like there's like a drip and then like it follows like a path. But it kept going back and forth between this is clearly a path and this is a sentient being that's going around in blood. Like the blood is moving around not just like bloop, 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 but like kind of like with the mirror room and the tendrils um the sound design still got me a bunch of times just in general i think that was great um i was about to say the part with the joker but that was in the second game um i appreciate that the bosses weren't all things hanging from the ceiling there was some variety there but also i wish there was more variety just in general, like, I love this, but also it's like, oh, it's it's those things again, you know? Just That's the main thing, I would say, I think. That's pretty much a foreshadow of the fight you would have with memory of Alessa. Oh, the, the mirror room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what the wiki said, too. That's like, oh, it looks similar. Which I think is really cool. Um, We talked about this at the beginning, but I want to talk about it again. I love the character of Heather. I think so far, in terms of protagonists... She is my favorite because Harry is dumb as bricks. Jimmy is dumb as bricks. <laughs> and Heather has a personality ahead on her shoulders. It was a little weird the more she got, like, I remember being Alessa and she kind of turned a little philosophical. But, like, her base personality, I think, without a doubt. Like, she's my favorite so far. Uh, the other one design is great in this game. It's bloody because of the heavy pregnancy. Yep. That, like, I'm cool with the blood. I like the blood. Because it gives this very fleshy, visceral feel. Like, the rust looked really good with it, too. Just the idea of, like, this decay and horrible whatever. But also, I wish the I wished it was easy to tell if it was raining or dripping blood or if the blood was alive and sentient. Because there's a lot of times, even with on, like, corpses, things that were just hanging, right? You could see the blood go... And it wasn't so much, like... Oh, it's bleeding, or oh, it's dripping blood, but it, you know, like it looked like the blood was like moving. The moon side, yeah. Heather, I think, is a wonderful character, like, she's really cool. Now, will I say, do I ever want to see her in another Silent Hill game? No, I am okay if in the Silent Hill series we never see her again, just like I was okay if we never saw Harry again, just like we're okay if we never saw Jimmy again. You know, nice little bow at the end of the story. Uh, and this game with you. Yeah, that was the big thing. The flavor text was so good. Because, you know, Jimmy and Harry, they were very factual. They were like, this is this, this is all. While she's like, oh, this kind of reminds me of childhood. Or like, oh, these clothes aren't my style. You know, I... I have too much spit in my mouth. I'm an assortment of grossness. But no, I, I really liked that. I really enjoyed that with, um, with Heather in general. It gave so much more personality in life. And it made me care about her so much more. It wasn't just generic human. It was, oh, this is Heather. This is a person. And I, I really like that. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Heather, best female horror protect from the early days, in my opinion. I'd be willing to agree with you, but I don't know who else there is. <laughs> so I, I don't know who to compare it to. Probably um, Resident Evil, which I haven't played Resident Evil, so... She felt real. Exactly. She felt super real. I, I really like that about her. Um, I already complained. I wish there was more enemies. I'm so... Okay. Okay, here's a small thing. I am so thankful that there was nothing like the smokers. Now, the crawling things, those were frustrating and I hated them. 100%. Those things sucked. But, um... I have from Parasite Eve. Fair enough. Someday. But, um... Yeah, I'm glad there was nothing like the smokers from the second game, but also the crawling things were just frustrating as all get out. Because, yeah, the problem with this game is attacking is slow, and that's fine. I mean, it's real life, you know? It, it takes a minute to swing a sword. But also, they'd just be like, and they just get you, and it'd be like, well, fuck my life, I guess. 
Okay, here's a weird statement. Here's a weird statement. I appreciate that they don't go too hard. And the second one did this and I was fine with it. But they don't go too hard on, like, generic fears. I mentioned before, never put me in Silent Hill because it would just be full of spiders. But I love that it's always fears that focus on, like, fleshy deformations of human and normal life. It's not just, here's a giant spider because giant spiders are scary. Or, here's a giant snake because giant snakes are scary. Or, you know, things like that. It's always a bit more scary and creepy. I, I really appreciate that in this series. Uh, the crawling enemies are awful and they have massive hitboxes from their attacks. Yeah, exactly. And because you can't dodge, you know... Dark Souls, because you can't dodge and move quickly, it's kind of hard to be like, oh, it's kind of hard to react to things. So, definitely turn on 3D mode helped with that, but it did still have that problem. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not here for the gameplay, I'm here for the story, which I think was amazing. Oh, excuse me. Probably the most annoying enemy in the series. Well, thank goodness it's done. But, um... I don't know why I had variable damages on attacks, but I get it. There are a few times, or like specifically with the um, with the one tentacle boss, that it felt kind of. I have a, I have a, I have a D20 here. Um, there are a few times, like with the tentacle boss, where I feel like I died for a dumb reason. I don't think the game really added anything by letting me fall off cliffs. I get it, but also, I feel like the game didn't really add anything by having that. You know what I mean? Um. The first segments of just trying to get home felt very long, but I get it because you were stuck in the mall and then you're stuck at the train station, then you're stuck in the weird sewers, and then you had to get home, so it makes sense. Stanley Coleman was great, placing the themes of unwanted stalking and teenage girls. Yeah, Stanley Col that was scary as shit, and we never saw who he was. We never met him. He was the creepiest. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna Google him. Silent Hill 3, Stanley Coleman. Like, he was just. And abs, that guy was chilling. And yeah, we never see him. We never see him. And it's so creepy. Yeah, and I, I'm looking up on the wiki. Uh, the otherworldly hostile note from Sandhill Hulker is expected to be referenced to Stanley, despite Stanley of Sandhill 3 being in Brookhaven and the note being in Al 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 a feminine figure being absolutely correlated strongly with Stanley. Oh yeah, that's right. The puzzle where we had to poke out his eyes, where we had to poke out the eyes, that was dumb. That was bullshit. And it was creepy as all get out. I liked the creepy part of it, but like the puzzle wasn't, you know, it's like, oh, it's not the eye, it's the blood dripping from the eye. Like That part was bullshit. But that was so creepy. Just reading that more and more is just like, I hate this, I am not comfortable, I, this is, this is awful. <laughs> I'm so thankful that he got fucking aced by Leonard or whatever. I, I feel like Leonard's design could have been better, honestly. Because I was expecting this, like, cool thing. And then you see it was just that. And it's like, oh, it's just a, it's a, it's just a dude with weird hands. You know, whatever, I guess. His abilities are nipping. So it's like, okay, I, I back slip. Yeah, cause it's just, ah, oh, it's just, a, it's just a. Yeah, that fight could have been a little better. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to watch that movie. Leonard was kind of met. Yeah, it, like he, the room had giant saws for no reason, and just kind of like, what the fuck? Uh, by his own madness. Supposed to be him stabbing someone. Yeah, the glutton. What was up with this thing? What was up with the spies passes? It's necessary for to escape the uh, symbolism, attorney. Uh, Harry Mason. That shit was just weird and creepy. It was cool, but it made no sense. Um, the happy birthday color was great. Yeah, that shit was creepy. And um, 
Was that another one that you that you guys were trying to say that like they were really channeling the Joker in that one? Leonard is like some amphibian monster. Yeah, it's really all it was. Yeah, it was just this thing in the water and it just lit its ass up. It was like, oh look, it's dead now, I guess. Alright. Yeah, the happy birthday caller was super good. The sea is so small moments that make this game great. I honestly I would say it's those moments that make this entire game series great. That it's not about it's not about some big bleh, like all at once. It's about the small things, the little moments, the the weird, creepy things that are never explained ever. And all you have to do is just sit there and be like, or not all you have to do, but all you can think is like, oh, this is some manifestation of something. I don't know if it's in me. I don't know if it's in someone else. Or I don't know if it's just the world. I don't know why I'm still holding D20, but um. It's just some scary manifestation. And that's beautiful. I love that shit. Like, that is the best. Yeah, HD voice actor channeling the Joker. And it worked. It worked great. Especially when he's like, happy birthday. And you're like, it, it's not my birthday. And he's just like, immediately grizzly and dark. Like, yes, it is. And it's like, oh shit. Okay, fine. Go. <laughs> like, I, I thought that was great. Um... What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Nah, I think that's really it. How much do you want to bet the split snakehead was supposed to represent a penis? How much do you want to bet? Anyway. <laughs> but sorry for saying that out loud. Um, I think I said that before when we saw him too, that it's like, oh god, it's supposed to be a penis, isn't it? <laughs> but, um... I thought the fight with Alessa, the memory of Alessa, I thought that was a good time, although it did kind of have the same problem that the missionary did of, like, it was just a game of, like, having to spin around and, like, shoot it and stuff. Everyone says that. Oh. I saw Claudio wasn't the best villain. She's no Maria. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that, yeah. But I think there's a difference in... It's hard to compare Claudia and Maria because they're so different. Claudia is like this force, which we don't really know how she works, but she is going for a goal. She is trying to do a thing, right? While Maria doesn't really hide from you so much as like she stares near you. Lots of sexual imagery in this game. There's lots of sexual imagery in the last game too, really. Which once again, made no sense. I don't know why there's sex. Well, desire to be with the one that you love, therefore sex is involved because it's marriage and stuff like that. And of course, Maria being pretty much a sexist. But, um,. Maria was trying to like get close to you and it was so weird seeing her die and then seeing her come back and her being really flirty. It was a much different air than this unknown person that's like trying to get you to do something that for some reason you'd start feeling the pains of pregnancy whenever you were near her. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's a little weird, but it's fine. Um, yeah, it's like whenever she... That was something, I get it, it's a video game, they don't want me just to walk in and shoot her kind of a thing. But that was kind of weird that like, I'm now going to confront you, Claudia, and she's like, mmm, preggers, and then walks away, and I'm like, I am in pain. You know, that was a little weird. Um, they still never really explained why the other world is the way it is. Why it's so full of like flesh and blood and rust and chain and horrible things. But also, that's the mystery of it, so I'm okay with that. Um, I mean, it's a manifestation of fears, and hey, if that's how fears turns out, that's how fears turns out, I guess. Um, there were a few times in this game, and I know the second one did it too, where, like, you would do something, and then you'd turn around, and, like, the door would be gone, and it'd instead be something else. It still very much had that air of, is any of this real, or is any of this not real? Which, I get it. It's part of the fun of it. This game doesn't need to explain everything, but there's that part of me that's just, like, Bullshit. They were going to make easier compare with Silent Hills, but we all know that what happened to that. Compare with Oh Silent Hills, you're talking about the the one that like PT was the demo for and that never came to be. I should figure out if there's a way I can play PT on the channel. I should figure that out. I'll do some digging. Um I don't know. Do do you guys have any other thoughts or subjects you'd like to discuss before we call it? Because I, I think we're about done. I think we're ready, I think we're ready to call this an episode. It is almost 11 o'clock for me. My sleep set schedule is complete, but... Fun fact. I regularly stay up till 2 or 3 a.m. Because that's just what I do, apparently. 
PT was like the last Breath of Franchise and the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, I never downloaded it. I, I, I never downloaded it, so I don't know if you even can anymore. If you can't, it's fine. It's unfortunate. That's fine. I did watch. I did watch some people play it, so I know the base idea of like you know you circle. But like how you ended two, you can end this one by watching the intro to four. <gasps> that is true. We could. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's, let's do that. That's fun. I like that. Let's let's, let's do that. Uh, which one looks of higher quality? This one has five forty nine. Auto two forty. Oh geez, can we get a little bit higher quality? Yeah, everyone tell me if this is wrong. If, if this is not the right one. Also, you can see through my... You can see through my cup. Cesarito 09. Ah, oh, more do more dogs. Isn't it? That I hate. That was oh my. Oh hey, it's what's her face from Demon Souls. Ah, oh, more dogs. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay. I hated that. That was awful. Oh god, the way that they're just moving like that, that's so creepy, I love it. So I wonder if I can play this with the controller. We'll figure that out when we actually... There's a big focus on the monsters here, which I think is interesting. Instead of just weird imagery, you know what I mean? Your weapon's breaking this one, I think, too, and there's a sandy meter of some kind. Fan tech. Uh, is that. Oh my goodness, is that like a hand coming out of her hair? That is some Japanese Oni bullshit right there. That's horrible. What the fuck? That shit. That's awful. I hate that. That is, that is genuinely scary to me. Oh, God. And a melee charge up bar for every attack. Ooh, nice. That makes me the big uncomfortable. Defending Silent Hill 4. Well, I'm not going to defend it. We're going to play it. It's going to be great. So, as you guys get to see my weird suggestions and stuff like that. This one has been suggested to me a lot. I'm not sure why. Ah. So I just choked a little bit on the fumes of my own soda. Oh, and <laughs> sorry, Molly, I didn't mean to wake you up. My bad. Anyways, I'm excited. Let's end the episode off here. Oh, I should talk about. I should talk about. I should talk about. So, th this week is Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know if everyone watching this is from America, but it is a very special time of, you know, giving thanks to, you know, it is giving thanks to God, but it's also, you know, spending time with loved ones and stuff. And I'm going to encourage everyone to spend time with your family. Just in general. I'm going to encourage everyone to spend time with your family. Because it is important, especially considering how much this year everyone's been isolated, it is it is very important. And as a result, we will not be streaming on Friday. Um, or sorry, we will not be streaming on Friday because we want to kind of dedicate Thursday and Friday to Thanksgiving as time. Time to chill and get fat. Time to chill, get fat, catch up with your family, watch football. If they don't have football, watch a movie together. Just spend time together. Yeah, 100%. Like. Let me get political for about two seconds. Fuck the people that say we should not spend Thanksgiving with our family. It is very important that we spend time with our family. <laughs> but, you know, when I heard on the radio people like, oh, don't, you know, it's not worth it. No, considering this year and the rate of suicide, it's worth it. Spend time with your fucking family. But I thought electing Biden abolished Thanksgiving. You fucking. <sighs> I'm an entertainment platform. It is not my purpose to. <laughs>
It is not my purpose to spread any political biases that I have or anything like that or to push on others. It, I, my opinion on politics is worth no more than anyone else's. Fuck Biden. Fuck not spending time with your family on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm going to be making... Oh, fuck yeah. That sounds great. That sounds super good. My, um... My family always gives me shit with um, Thanksgiving because I'm not a fan of things like pumpkin pie and stuff. But, man, just spending time with family. it Everyone needs that this time of year. So, I say that to say... I say that to say, I will be streaming on Wednesday. We're going to be starting our new series, or our new series since we finished with Skyrim. And um, it's going to be Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy Shootin'. We're going to play the first Red Dead Redemption, which um, some of my friends kind of gave me crap that I didn't play, that I'm not going to be playing Red Dead Revolver first, which I'm not going to worry too hard about that. I don't think I even... Oh, fucking cheesecake. That is that is what I'm down for. <laughs> do I have Red Dead Re Revolver? I don't think I do, and I, I don't think Red Dead Revolver is available on Steam, or... Do you want to play Football Manager 2021? The answer is no, fuck that. Um, where is Red Dead Revolver as a game? Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, some of my friends are kind of giving me crap that's like, hey, you should play this first, but... Eh. <laughs> it is on PlayStation 4, so, you know, maybe I'll consider it, but no, I'm excited... I'm ex actually, hold on, full game walkthrough, very hard, two hours, 50. Well, that is, you know, like a speed run, probably. But, um, yes, this Wednesday, we're going to be starting Red Dead Redemption, which I'm really excited for, and we're not going to be streaming on Friday. I might stream Saturday afternoon, maybe. I'm not 100% sure yet, um, but in case I do, announcements for which are, let's see, my brother's more into the Red Dead series than me. Yeah, I think you mentioned that before, right, that he's, like, he really enjoyed those games. But, um, I've heard only good things about them, so that's why, like, since I'm excited, yay, we're gonna be doing another open world fun time adventure. We're probably gonna treat it the same way that we did Ghost of Tsushima, in that, um, we're gonna be very goal-orientated towards, like, whatever the main quote-unquote mission is. But if there's anything that's fun on the side or on the way, we'll do it, you know? But we're not gonna, like, worry too hard about it. Um, yes, so that's gonna be on Wednesday. Uh, no stream on Friday, possibly Saturday. Announcements for which are going to be on Facebook and Twitter, which is in the description below. Uh, Vodzies will be put on YouTube Sunday. I just recently put up the, um, what did I put up? What did I put up? Yeah, we, I put up the rest of the StarCraft 2, which I kind of sizzled out at at the end because I was, oops. I kind of sizzled out at, at the end because I was getting sick of, um, I was getting sick of playing co-op. And uh, Soul Silver, yeah. So vods that are on YouTube. We have a Discord. I have no idea what we're going to be doing with the Discords. Maybe someday in the future we'll set up community games or just have it as a hub for people to play together. No clue, but we have a Discord in the description below. Vods will be on YouTube. Yeah. Let's end the episode off here. Let's see. Uh, for show, you have a great night. I'll catch you next time. I'll take a peek. Don't don't worry too hard about it. <laughs> Real talk. Don't 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 worry too hard about. It. But if you're interested, yeah, I I'm, I'm happy to see them finally be up. But, and um, I'll be working over that over time. The next ones I'm going to put up are Ghost of Tsushima. But I want to write a haiku for every episode. And that's going to take a lot of creative spirit. And someday I'll pick up drawing again. Because as you can see, there's all these porygons. I need to draw more of them. But yes. Thank you all so much for co coming. You know, Science Crab Red Rose, thank you so much for like helping me get the endings and stuff. Um, I hope you'll help me with Silent Hill 4 as well. Because I'm really excited. Even though the crawling lady thing was fucking horrifying. But, um... I'm really excited to play that. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, damn it. I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Thank you so much for helping with everything. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm going to go eat food. Yep. So let's call it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you there we go. then. Thank you for coming.